Bro, is, come is on, yo. Is, yeah. this, mm -mm. is this our first hungover show? Yeah. Keep it cute today, bro. Keep it cute today. What's <laughs> poppin', people? Welcome back to the Lions, then, first off. But again, welcome back to Say Less with Kaz and Low Key. My name is Kaz. Yo, what up? It's Low. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the type of time we on today? Is that the type of time we on today? Oh what my up? goodness. We what do up? got ads. We do got ads, <laughs> but we, we, we're gonna get to that first. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go until you know what I mean uh, yeah, it's low key from how you, you do the thing. All right, all right, okay. Do the fucking thing, Low. All right, all right. Motherfucking Yo, Muslim. this is Low Key from Dang. New Jersey, Howard University graduate, host of Hip Hop R&B Throwback on Apple Music Hits every day, Monday through Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. Please listen, add the playlist to your library. Library? Brary. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to all my Apple Music folks. <laughs> bro, bro I, just, I don't have it. I don't got it today. You don't got it today? I don't got it today, man. You know what's a great way to get over a hangover? Drink more liquor, Low. Drink more liquor. Anyway, <laughs> my sister told me that when I was younger, she was like, "When you're hungover, just drink more, just drink beer to balance yourself out." Any hoots? Let's 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 knock out some business first before we get into all of our shenanigans for the past <laughs> week. Uh, <laughs> if you're listening to us, shout out to everybody watching on YouTube.com/slash Kazim. As always, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share video. But of course, can't forget everybody streaming on Apple Music, Spotify. Amazon, uh, Google Play, <laughs> SoundCloud, everybody out there. But of course, of course, of course, um, before we get into all that, obviously, it's an important three weeks. We've got three weeks left until probably the biggest election of our lifetime. Definitely the biggest election of our lifetime. More than likely the biggest election of our lifetime. Definitely, definitely, definitely. We, we, we want you guys to get out the vote. Uh -huh. And of course... Yeah, it's three weeks away from Election Day, but you do not have to wait until November 3rd to cast your ballot. Right. You could be an October voter. There's a couple weeks left, and you know, depending on what state you are in, you can send your votes in now. Mm -hmm. And uh, in most states, you can, you can absolutely get your votes in before the end of the month, before Halloween, all that type of stuff. So if you haven't yet, make sure you request your mail ballot, return your completed ballot in the mail, or an in-person or vote early at an early voting location. There's plenty of them wherever you live at. They might be literally down the street from you, whether it's a high school, yep. uh, anywhere. Just look it up, especially depending on where you live at, because there's literally no time to waste. Right. Treat every day like election day. There are there people are coming out in record numbers to vote early and get their make sure their vote is counted and matters. And you should be one of those people. So make sure you treat every day like election day to make sure all voices are heard. Make a plan to vote, be an October voter, and visit and still I vote org to join the fight for voting rights today. So thank you, obviously. But guys, man, shoot, geez, good to be back in the shop. Shout out to our guy Vic, opening up the lines then for us as always. Whew. So, so. <laughs> low key, man. So here's the thing. We are very hungover. <laughs> we are very hungover. Usually, you know, what I mean, the, the, the fun part about, you know, us do, starting this podcast during the pandemic, right? Is that usually we record on a Sunday, you know what I mean? It's Sunday afternoon, we got a little time to recover from many sort of shenanigans that we were into last night because, yeah. you know, pandemic shenanigans don't measure up to real life, real real life real, yeah, the, you the, know, shenanigans. Ordinary shenanigans. Ordinary shenanigans. The yeah. shenanigans that we're used to, you know? Yeah. Sundays, especially fall Sundays, are reserved for, you know, a, a, a nice a nice New York brunch. Yeah, nice you know little I mean? brunch uptown nice or little, brunch in LES. Yeah, you're kicking it, you know Kicking I mean? it with your girl. But we ain't got a whole lot of that. Mm-mm. I'm drinking some Pellegrino right now to try and shake off the bubs. <laughs> I Bro, I woke up this morning. Uh, like, what the hell were you thinking? Bro. Like, well, you know, I did the same thing. And you know what it was? <laughs> you know what it was? Like, not to bring the mood down or anything. Like, because I went to go see my dad yesterday. Okay. And for, you know, for Shout some out to Papa Ivy. Yeah. For some of y'all that don't know, uh, my mom passed in this, uh, December last mm -hmm. year. 
Mm-hmm. So, you know, going home is, is kind of tough and it's kind of, you know, it, 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 it rattles my soul a little bit. So I came home, I came back to the city and I was like, all right, I gotta, you know, I gotta need a little pick me up. Need to go out, be around some love. Just, you know, I mean, I was around love. You know, my girl came, you know, my, my dad was there. I saw my sister. So I was mm-hmm. around love, but I just, you know, I had to. Different, it's a different energy. I, yeah, I needed, different energy. I needed the energy. You gotta put on. You gotta put on your your, your different costume. When yeah, you're with the boys I needed the energy to switch. Right, mm-hmm. so get to the hookah bar. Yeah, how was that? <laughs> the Harry's. So mind you, I was like, yo, uh, yo, you know, uh, you know, I knew what you were going through. I'm like, yeah. yo, you good, bro? You want to come come check you? He was like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm a I'm gonna go to Sahara East. I was like, yo, I'm gonna go to Barcode. But you should come to Barcode. I was like, nah, I'm gonna go to Sahara East. I'm like, you sure? I'm like, all right, I'll come check you. Yeah. Now. So I get there, right? <laughs> You know, if anybody who knows me, if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you know, I'm always at Sahara East. That's my Shout little, out Sahara East. That's my place of zen. That's where I go. That's where I smoke my hooks and it's cool. It's safe, play my own music, whatever. Never no problems. Never no problems. Until last night. <laughs> so me and my boy Edwin were sitting at the at the table and we mm-hmm. noticed that the security guard is it's getting a little frisky up there. So we're like, I mean, he's a big dude. So it's like, you don't need us. <laughs> it's a frisky. Like, I don't know. Like, it was just like, it was a lot of movement. So we're okay. like, hey, what's up? So that was going on for five minutes. So we finally get up. We go to see what's going on. And the security guard pretty much has this maybe five, six, five, seven nigga in a crab chokehold just like... <laughs> Doing this, but the oh, dude, yeah. the dude who who's fighting is like just in, insanely drunk. Keeps coming back for more. Keeps coming back for more. Right? right. So his man is like trying to hold him back. They finally get a grip on him. And me and my boy Edward are standing in the doorway, and he rushes the door. Mm-hmm. Rushes us. Now, if you've been mm-hmm. to Sahara, it ain't that big. It's, a, like, it's literally it's very narrow. It's a hallway with tables. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically what it is. So but. the nigga did this Barry Sanders combined <laughs> Emmett Smith juke move. <laughs> got in the door. So now me and Edwin like are holding him, right? Yeah. So a security guard finally comes and gets him, and you know I snuck a little. In there, because <laughs> he's disrupting my evening, and I'm already having a bad day. I'm about to say, like, you've already, you've already, yo, been bro. I was already here. on like ten. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. How many? Yeah. Yo, listen, 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 listen. How many times in your life have uh, you already been like at uh, at ten for the day, mm-hmm. and God gives you a great opportunity, to be like? You want to stomp a nigga out today? Yo, like, you? I felt like God was like saying, like, here, here, here. I know what you was going through today. I understand it. You know, it's hard to deal you with. You don't got to deal with it again. You don't got to deal here, here, here. Get a few get, 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 get one. I'm, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you five seconds to get something in. Whatever you do with that five is on you. Oh, you. And don't get caught and don't get hurt. So you know, we wrestling the dude at the door. And my dumb ass, I'm like, I'm like, nah, what are you doing? Like, go sit down. Right? So but You're I'm, a grown man. We're yeah, grown. I'm man. Like, I'm grown like, like yeah. bro. So but like my energy was just it was just off. So listen. We get him outside finally. <laughs> this is when it gets crazy. <laughs> we get him outside. Uh and we he he goes to the right. So he goes down down the block. Okay. And this is where it gets sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was like, he's got a blade. Oh boy. Bruh, <laughs> that 180, I'm like, oh, let me go smoke my You know hookah. what? I don't even need all this. I don't this. even need all this. I don't this. even know this guy's that Bro, much. Bro, so, like, so he, I think he had took the uh, security guard's jacket, and he, had, yeah. he was, like, running down the street with it. And then he gets to the restaurant that's on the other corner, and he picks up a chair, like a steel chair. And it's like he's swinging that shit mad randomly, knocking over what? bottles and glasses. That's when I was like, okay, God. I see what you're trying to say right now. <laughs> Let me go back into this Uber Even, bar. The night is the night is that you, you, you got enough please. in. You got you got your this all right, but just <laughs> go inside because this could go very, very differently. So yes. yeah, that was that was my and then after that we just kept like we just started taking shots, shots, yeah. shots, shots. Like, you know, we could be it's BYOB over there. So my yeah. boy brought um But Sahara, like if anybody who's ever been to Sahara, been the especially been with Low key to Sahara. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically just like a big ass living room. It's like, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's basically like it's a hangout. It's not really like. It's not a, per, like, if anybody knows like hookah spots, it's not like Pergola. Right. Uh, it's not like one of those, you know, you have to make reservations. Very low, it's a very low key spot. It's a very low key spot. <laughs> um, so we play we play our music in there. Yeah. Like, you know, we watch TV. We watch the game. It up, yeah, we all watch all, TV on. All, all that stuff. My night was a little different. <laughs> <laughs> you sent me that different. video. I'm like, hell no. So, you know. I felt like, you know what, I should go out, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like, 
The wife was having some friends over. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? I just I, I went to go run some errands early in the day. I was doing a lot of work all this week. Big week. Launched launched the the first one with Khaled mm-hmm. and Lil Wayne. Make sure you go check it out. Amazon Music. Lil Wayne this week. Uh, next week, uh, J Balvin. Can't wait to drop that. <laughs> um, so you know, I was like, you know what? It'd be, I, I should I should. I should go watch the fight somewhere. I yeah. should go find somewhere. You know, it's Jersey. I'm sure there's some places open, whatever. Hit up one of my really good friends, Anna. Anybody who knows me knows uh, my homegirl, Anna, one of my best friends on the planet. She's like, yo, um, I know a guy uh, runs a spot called Barcode. Um, we can go watch the fight there. You see, <laughs> now you see Eden's <laughs> laughing, right? Because I'm still that was a setup for the well. There's, there's, a, there's, there's a handful of there's a handful of things that play here, right? <laughs> it's a handful of things that play here, right? One, I haven't really been around people, right, right in a right. long time, right, right? In a long time, I've actually been social distancing. I've actually been staying away from uh, you know uh, all our inter- all gatherings. the interactions you've had so far like have been house gatherings. How, yeah come to the crib yeah, oh we that's to, the extent i I, I think i did like Ainsworth one night <laughs> yeah we went to Ainsworth. yeah we, that was like the first time i think you've ever come out right yeah, right but like I, I'm, I'm just not you know whatever but i was like man i just need to i just need to just be around you know i, mean, well, I, 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 I want to I wanna touch the town yeah i want to watch a fight like i want to just get a drink kick it chill like i ain't see one of my homies in a minute talk like, some shit let's go hang out yeah. right so you get there <laughs> the place is called barcode right my me and my old infinite wisdom i'm thinking oh, okay it's a bar yeah right like you know it's showing the fight you know it's a bar right Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Bro, this man so sent me. I get to me, Elizabeth, right? Sent me the video? I said, hell no. I get to Elizabeth, New Jersey. And mind you, th- here's the second thing that's at play, right? What do we say at the end of every single podcast? Oh, nigga. <laughs> it wasn't a mask What do we say sight. after every single podcast? Wear your, your fucking, fucking mask. mask, right? Bro. So I'm like, yeah. yeah. I'm with my mask, right? Really? I'm like, I'm not succumbing to the peer pressure, okay? Yeah. Like, I'm still going to be safe. I'm still and, follow the guidelines. You know, I get there. It's not a bar. It is. <laughs> it's a four-ounce club. It is a full fucking <laughs> club. <laughs> and I'm washed. Like, I don't know these things. Like, I'm But you got to remember, girl. Jersey is open, like, yeah, yeah. on the low. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the third thing I play. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm a COVID shamer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've been shaming motherfuckers. Like, hey, nobody knows Corona's in Atlanta. Like, what's these idiots doing in Florida? You sit here. I'm watching the Florida State game literally hours later. I'm like, damn, these motherfuckers just out here, just all willy nilly. And now I'm stuck. I'm in Elizabeth. <laughs> I'm like a good half hour away. I'm at the front of the line. I text you. I'm like, yo, I think I might just pull up over there. I look up at the directions. It's like a 40 minute drive from Elizabeth back to Sahara. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's a one. It's I'm I'm not making two trips. It's either to Sahara or to the crib. So I'm like, fuck. I'm ready at the front of the line. Know the people running it. So now I'm just like, shit. (sighs) I'm like, yo, you sure you want to go in here? It looks a little... You know what I mean? Like we're, we're mixy. because they haven't been there before either. They, oh, they never. They just, oh, they, they never just heard through the oh, grapevine. Okay, okay. You know, you can't really like, especially in Jersey, we, we can't really. Uh, you know, they're, they're not really promoting. Like, hey, no, uh, they uh, are. Uh, they are on like on Instagram. Like well, the I DJs that I follow are like heavy promoting parties that they're spinning. Well, I didn't see that shit. <laughs> so like, so that's why I say Jersey's. I open. get there and all of a sudden, like. The memories are flying back. Like you see sprinters coming in. What? You got the, all the the thoughts walking around in their thought gear. Like I'm, I'm in thought there in like gear. sweats and I'm in a sweater and, and regular joint. Like I didn't know it was like club. Yeah, you didn't know you didn't know the vibe was that. I didn't know that was the vibe, right? right. But the good thing about barcode is that there is a massive pool right in the middle of the club, mm-hmm. right? So on one side. It's like a bar restaurant, everyone's social distance, tables like spread out. And on the other side of the pool, it's Atlanta. <laughs> 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 it is. It is literally 
panda mo- like it's, it's Atlanta. You could see <laughs> like from it's it's a good it's a good sized pool. Yeah. It's a good Michael Phelps sized pool in there. Like so it's a good distance. But you can see my like hanging off each other, like doing getting the like getting to it. Getting to what? it. Like, yeah, like I was just like, it look like Palooza in there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, what the nigga, fuck? all they needed was like for me to host. Basically, <laughs> I forgot was, who was, was DJing, but like, you know, it was it was it was turned up. But the good thing was massive big screen showing the fight. Right. Right. Like, like while I'm eating wings, hookah. Like yeah, drinking, the, the purpose of why you were there was fulfilled. Yes. So I'm I'm happy at that point. But While at the looking time, at the world in destruction on the other side. But at the same time, <laughs> there's so many of these things running through my head now. I'm like, yo, I have been COVID shaming motherfuckers all year it long. It was at some point you were <laughs> going to be involved in the activity. Of at course. some point. So I'm like, all right. I, you know, I can't help myself. I'm like, do I, I can't even post that. Do I post this? Do I put on the, do, I, do, I, do I hit the close friends? I don't, do I, I don't post it. I don't post, <laughs> I post it. I don't post it. Like, do, I, do I want people to shame me? But like, I ain't gonna hold you. Shit was fun. Shit was kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit was kind of fun. I was like, all right, I got my mask on. I'm like, I'm not around people. I'm not grinding on nobody. Like there's a good, That's it's, still, it's but, big enough so you can get around and like not be around people. So I'm just like, but see that, and that actually, okay, so that's the thing. Like when you go, when you look at clubs in Atlanta, or you look at clubs in like Texas, and you know where they've been actively partying, they're on top of each other. Yes, like Atlanta. Like when I look at oh, like Atlanta oh, stuff, they're, they're on, on top, top of, of each e- other. They were on top of each other yesterday. <laughs> well, no, so what, like, but the pool was like my saving grace. Well, that's what I was saying. Like about you going out because you're not on top of anybody. Right. You were just like you know watching the game, yeah, eating wings yeah, yeah. with Anna and them. Cool. Like yeah, yeah. we can do that. Right, but the other side of the world, the destruction part, they are on top of each other like nothing has ever happened. Like I'm literally, that's what I can't. Do. I'm literally watching like videos of Tip and like for the, his album release yeah, party with his bro, wife. Bro, I'm like, what are y'all? And like every other week, I'm seeing. I'm just like, it's another. Really like just... I'm, I'm following Mr. Rugs. Like they doing shit. Yeah. Like, I'm like, do y'all not? But is it, it, did, it, did it skip over Georgia? But here's the thing. Can't even knock him now, bro. Like, looks, looks kind of fun. Yeah, I was like, looks yo, kind of fun. Like, as much as I'm judging, I'm like, <sighs> I, I would like, be nice I, to just. I would like to get it shaken one it's night. Been, it's been a long it's year. Been a long. So, like, in the midst of like just, just, just having this existential crisis, right? Where I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm being safe. Like, I'm a mask on. Like, I'm not touching nobody. Mm-hmm. I'm staying away. Mm-hmm. Like, you know. <sighs> then the drinks start coming in. And like, oh. I miss this feeling. The hookah's coming in. I'm there it like, is. Damn, it's been a long time. <laughs> it's been, it's been like, a long time since I was acting thotty. Like, no, I wasn't even acting thotty. No, no, just like, like, no, no not, like, not like that, but just like just being out, just being, being mixy. 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 It's been a, a long time word. since we got to be mixy. And I was just like, man, I, th- this, is, this was like a throwback. Like I told you, I'm like, yo, it felt like Palooza in there. And I'm just like, yo. You hold, you've made, you've, you've I'm going to sit here. No, so now like it's going through my head. I'm like, damn, this is what goes through like everybody's head that I'm openly judging on social media. Where I'm just <laughs> like, yo, at some point we're all just looking at each other. Like we all make like a silent contract, like amongst the thousands of people in that place. We're just like, we gonna be all right. <laughs> <laughs> this will pass. This will pass. <laughs> this too shall pass. It's like you all make that silent like. You know, like you look at your friends, you're like, all right, I'm like, do you start like, you know, negotiating with yourself? Like, it's like silently, we're like, like, enough is enough. It's like, damn, I know like 60 people, Rona, and they all just fine. Like, everybody's, everybody's (laughs) all right. We're good. Is it the the risk? Like, all right, okay, like I'm going in here. It's it's, it's always where you go and what you do. Like, I, one, I shouldn't be talking because I'd be in a hookah bar. I'm about to say, you out. I'm out of the discussion. So (laughs) it's like, nigga, all the safety guidelines and shit that I'd be preaching. But being online, you got to. You know, you not even like that, but you know, I'm 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 somebody who you know I, I take it I took it pretty seriously. No, I, like, I mean, you know, I still do too. And I on top do. of it, like I, I just do. like being home anyway. So a small part of me is a little I'm hating a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> a small part of me is like, damn, all right, like these motherfuckers are really just out here just living life like this yeah. and the whole pandemic going yeah. on. I'm just like, it, it, it was fun, bro. This it was fun. I'm like, fuck, I, I, I'm in there. We're all we all made the silent contract with each other, like. All right, so fun. I guess we just gotta I be in. Just, if, if I gotta be in the house for two weeks after this, uh, outside of like doing the, be body. all in the house. But I'm, I'm gonna get a night in. So be it. <laughs> 
60? Oh, my God. Them niggas is probably back out right now. Let me tell you straight up. <laughs> that club went to brunch in the morning. There was <laughs> at least, if I'm guessing, at least 2,000 people in there. Oh. At least. If I had to guess. Oh, nah, my it was massive. It was massive in there, bro. Like, it was, I'm give or take. It was more than a thousand. It was definitely more than see, a thousand. See, okay, all right. See, this is where I shame you. <laughs> this is where I shame Because it's like, I could do 50. I could do maybe 60. But I was, I was. 2K? It's open, it's open air. Okay. It's open air. There's a 2K? pool separating us from the massive mixiness. Okay. And I'm in the restaurant section. Okay. So, and mind you, the door is right next to me. So, if I got to be out, I'm. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know, if I see that shit creeping through the air, I'm like, like no. <laughs> I'm <out> of here. <laughs> but uh, no, I was. I'm, I'm still sitting there trying to be as safe as possible. Right. But I'm just like, yo, man, like, this is how the pandemic's gonna end. This is how it's gonna end because they're not gonna, they're not gonna get no real virus. They're not gonna get no real vaccine. Yeah. I mean, maybe they will. Maybe who's gonna trust it? The way the pandemic ends is when people are just like. Fuck it. But that's <laughs> like, that's but that's when, like when, that's the mentality that you know Americans have been having. Exactly. With this. It's always but now been, I'm getting it. And again, I'm not well, saying no, it's I good. And again, I'm probably not going back there until there's a vaccine out. Yeah. Cause I didn't go like had I known this is what I was going into, I'm like, yo, I'm coming to Sarah, I'll come kick it with you there. Had I known this is what I was walking into, I'd be like this, I just don't Because I'm not even gonna hold I'm you. Good. I'm not even gonna hold you. On the low, I was like, damn, like maybe I should go. And go see him because I mm. can just stay at the crib and just stand the third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you sent that video, <laughs> bro, I never said no or quicker in Adam, my I'm gonna head. Send you, I'm gonna send Please you the send video. Send the video. I'm gonna send you the video so you can post it up Man, right yeah. here. Yo, I'm texting <laughs> low. I'm like, yo, I forgot exactly what I said. I said something along the lines of like, yo, it looks aggressive out here. <laughs> bro, <when laughs> this I line looks aggressive. I caught hives. <laughs> Looking at that video, I'm like, and nigga, and I'm a party host. I'm Bro, a mixy. I like to be I out. I didn't take off my mask. I was hitting the hookah like this. <laughs> <laughs> like if I had to take a drink, like I just broke the straw. And I, I like, like to be in the mix. And I was still making sure I wasn't too close to nobody. It just, was, but it was crazy. Like that video he sent, it was just crazy. And I'm like, Damn, motherfuckers, bro, just like, like stop. You know, it's. They stop. They stop caring. We're all like, co we, we're we're all COVID shamers, and we're all like shaming people to like, you know, like motherfuckers have been in the house since what? More. I've been in the house really. I haven't really gotten a good like. God damn. I don't think I've been to like an actual party party since the Super Bowl. No, since All Star Weekend. I think when we did when we did uh the Mountain Dew shit. Yeah, that was that that was that literally was like the literally the last party. That was literally we've the ever last party to. we've done. That was the last party I've ever went, and that was what February. Yes. That was the last party I ever went to. And it was packed. Yeah. Like, and that shit was fun. Yeah, and that shit was dumb fun, and that too. That shit was fun. But that was, yeah, that's the last time I've ever held or I've ever hosted a party mm. in, in 2020. So now I'm just like, man. <sighs> that was, that was, last night was fun. I'm not going to hold you. That was fun. Last night was fun. <laughs> like, I feel bad. Like, I, no, here's the thing, right? Like, Bill Burr said it best, right? Oh. Like, it's the perfect disease. It's the perfect thing right mm -hmm. like if you care less that less of a fuck about people where you don't want to wear your mask and like kill all the people that you care about and love go right ahead that's fine mm. <laughs> i don't want to kill nobody i love <laughs> i don't want to hurt nobody but like i feel like you know you're watching all this shit on tv you're watching, you know, I'm watching football, you got this precautions, I'm taking my own temperature, mm -hmm. I'm doing all this shit. I'm like, I think I know what this is about by now. Bro, Bill if Burrow. I gotta take, if I could go kick it for three, three hours, three hours, God, three little hours, like, <laughs> Lord, like, please, like, I can't kick it for three hours, bro. <laughs> three hours, can I please, just, just please. I wanna listen to some loud ass music. Like, I got to hear songs in the club setting mm -hmm. that I haven't heard all year. Like, just being in in, in, a, in, a, in a club for that right. made it worth it. Like, I got to hear motherfucking Go Crazy by Chris Brown and Young Thug, and I'm just like, I've been waiting all year for this moment. Yeah, like, like, it's yes. like the moments, the moments <laughs> in the club that we always love. Just it's like, in the middle of the night. Hearing the songs. Judging yeah, right people now, like, baby. yo, 
Like, like a put you on a trash. Right? Outfit trash. trash. Look at this bird, <laughs> bitch. Look at these bum <laughs> niggas. Like, these bum <laughs> ass niggas. <laughs> it's all those I moments like, that we have I not. This shit. We have not gotten to do in 2020. <laughs> it's judging people and just looking at people like with utter disgust. Like, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, How are you here? Uh, and then, and oh, then, I got that too because I went straight to the front of the line. That's the what line. I'm saying. I went straight to the front. It's a. It was a, anybody who's been to that spot. It's a. It's a big spot. So, you know, motherfucking that line was from down to like uh, like the car wash that was there. It's a, yeah, it's right it, next bro, to the right as soon as you so, go. It was so mixy. So I, I walked right to the front. It was like, oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I miss that feeling too. <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm. You don't miss the air. Yeah, yeah. Good, bro, good. Sahara. Yo, Kaz, you, from the, Sahara has a, you know, Sahara has a garden in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, there'd be a line on Saturday nights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What did my ass do? <laughs> right to the right front. Right to the front. And you hear, you hear the, the, the sucking of the, the teeth. Niggas <laughs> looking you up and down. Cause I'm not, I'm not, and mind you, I'm not even like anybody who's been to Jersey. Like, you have to be club appropriate. Yeah. Niggas got they fucking jewelry. They got all the chains on. Yeah. They got all the Gucci and chain the gang is out. Fucking motherfuckers coming in the drop tops and the sprinter vans. The people's having the bachelorette parties, birthday parties. They dress to the nines. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm walking up with a, a paper sweater. plane sweatsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in yes. a sweater and some and some some trousers. I'm not even gonna say jeans and dockers. <laughs> I'm in there. This nigga had dockers and trousers. <laughs> Browsers, bro. <laughs> and they over there are hot. Man. And I'm like, damn. I miss this. Miss that feeling. <laughs> I miss this. I, I miss coming feeling. outside and point like, yeah, you, yeah. you, yeah, come on, yeah, let's go, yeah. come on, come on. <laughs> I got you. I miss the public shaming mm. of the line people who just sit there oh. and they can't get a table or can't get in. Man. And meanwhile, the owner comes out and says, low key, who you with? Yeah. No one. It's just me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, it makes it yeah. so beautiful. Oh, for sure. Like it it's so beautiful. Listen, there's not many. No matter what anybody tries to tell you, it feels good to be wanted in any situation. <laughs> Pandemic has taken that away from away us. from a lot of people. Taking it away, and from like us. you know, I, I feel like I'm I'm not nobody super. Yeah. yeah. Important or special, but we had, we had we had privilege. But yeah, like it feels, it, it feels good forgot, to have privilege. I forgot how good it feels to be like, oh, Kaz, come through, and I and I have no idea who you are. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You go. You want to meet down tonight? My guy, my girl. Let's go. You know, like it's. <laughs> Yo, we're, I feel, yo, I feel we're, douche, we're being we're doing motherfuck. douchebags this episode. We're being such douchebags this episode, and I'm feeling like we're being such douchebags this needed. episode. Oh it was God. needed, bro. We've been in the house for almost eight what eight months? Seven, seven, yeah, seven, seven to months. eight months. Uh, yeah, yeah. We've been doing well, especially us New York y'all motherfuckers in Florida, Atlanta, Texas. Fuck y'all because y'all <laughs> fucked it up for everybody. If everybody in the we could have been back country, to normal by if now. Everybody if y'all in the niggas, entire yeah. country was acting like New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, I swear to you, we'd be sort of almost back to normal. Maybe not all the way, but we'd be a lot Movies, closer. Yeah, somewhat kind of concerts. We'd be able to. There definitely be able, you'd definitely be able to go to a Jets or Giants game. Yes, you. Because motherfuckers in other states, like you know, Kansas City, Dallas, like mm -hmm, whatever, mm -hmm. like they just stop giving a fuck. They just stop giving a fuck, bro. I think the NFL doesn't give a fuck. The NFL suffers the most because that's a sport that needs that needs that roar of the crowd. That is coliseum, modern day gladiator shit. But if, like, it, it affects, like, see, the NFL affects so many parts of like just a modern day Sunday, right? So you got yeah. people who are working in those stadiums. You got personnel who can't travel with the teams anymore. You got fans who can't come anymore. Right. So it's like that that affects so many different aspects of life. Mm -hmm. NBA was a bubble, 13 niggas on the team, mm -hmm. and that was cool and that was safe. But yeah, the yeah. NFL is so huge. There's so much personnel. So, right, it's 53 that, players yeah, yeah. alone. Just, just the players. Just the players. Every every team on within the team has like a specific coach, specific specialist, right, right, trainers, right, right, fucking right. everybody. Like certain games, it'll feel like there's more people than there are because, you know, there's a lot of people in the sideline or whatever, but it ain't the same. 
It ain't the fucking same. They, they, I think they fucked it up. I think they really fucked up. Yeah, because there was no real plan. And mind you, there's that's not a sport that could lend itself to having something that the NBA had. Like, yeah. I just think they're just they were just in a no one situation, and they were just basically like, "Fuck it, if we got to move some games, we we'll move some games. If some people get sick, it's like they'll you get can't, sick, you can't, like, you can't have a sole, um, uh, 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 a sole spot mm-hmm. to play in. So it can't be like it's Orlando. Impossible. It's impossible to get. 30 teams of 53 players and their coaches and their specialists keep it safe. Not even safe sick-wise, but safe like motherfuckers are getting injured left and right. Like It's already a violent sport. Yeah. Like To not have all that shit, it's impossible. Mm-hmm. Unless like you literally rent the state of Texas. And, it's just, and like, just let niggas come, which, come in and out. Which is which it, could have worked. What could have yeah. happened is like, yo, Texas will be where the NFL lives for this year. We'll have the Northeast, the, the NFC East playing at Cowboy Stadium. We'll have fucking the AFC playing at where, Reliant, wherever the Texans play. Yeah, yeah. We'll have some teams play at high school gyms, well, high school uh, arenas. We'll have some teams play at University of Texas, some places here. Like, that might have, could have I mean, breaking worked. it down like that, that could have possibly worked. But what the thing is, it's just, it's too many, it's too much personnel coming in and out. Right, right, right. So right. when you have that many people going into one stadium, coming out of another stadium, going mm-hmm. into like one airport, whatever the case is, there, those cases are gonna spike, of course. But it's kind of like that. What what is it called? Herd immunity. Yeah, yeah we're just trying like, to keep. Yeah, they just like you know what. The only people that are coming in here, if you're a high risk, you know, don't come. Whatever. If you have any pre-existing conditions, don't come. But like you know, it was kind of like I I truly believe. Had they just said, you know, in Texas is crazy enough to fucking do it. They're like, yo, we're shutting down everything for the NFL. They'll take all that money. Are you kidding me? And we can still fill up stadiums. And these rednecks don't give a fuck about, you know, any social distance and none of that shit. They 1,000% could have turned Texas into the NFL, the entire state of Texas into the NFL. That, that I think, you know, Roger Goodell, idiot. Yeah. Listen to my man right here. Yeah. That sounds like a kind of. Seems, seems like it could have worked. Seems like it could have worked. They, it's not, and it's not like it's some shit where it's like, oh, well, now it's too late. Because, yeah, it definitely is. But you had the luxury of time. This yeah. shit popped off right at last Super Bowl. Yeah. Like, I, I they swear, had I, yeah, they had the time I'm to figure that shit out. I'm positive I had this shit when I came back from Miami. That was yeah. the only time I've ever felt like super sick this year. I came from Miami. Uh, my girl got sick. I got sick. My boy Justin, who came over, got mm-hmm. like we was all mad sick. And then a couple weeks later, we start hearing about this shit, this coronavirus shit. I was like, damn, I really, I was just in Florida. I was just hella sick. I'm like, damn, maybe I had that shit. Snake. You know, <laughs> Snake had the but, exclusive. But you, yeah, <laughs> hey, you know me, bro. Before, before the official, I was gonna get that shit first. <laughs> I had the exclusive. He was like, yo, I got some shit y'all Listen, niggas ain't got you. <laughs> I had the first run, Rona, bro. Like y'all yeah. got y'all should stepped on. My shit was the pure. <laughs> I had the Piorita. Like. Sneakers app didn't I have mean, that. I had that pure Rona. I'm not going to lie. I had that shit in March. I feel like we all had it. I feel like we all had it, bro. Like, uh, I, see? No, because like, I'm like, no, no, no. Funny shit. Like, I know like we shouldn't be joking out, but in March, I lost my, I lost my sense of smell for like yep. three days. I had like the aches um, and I was just like, I had a headache. So I was just like sick for like three or four days. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, bro, like, and this was when it first was kicking off. So everybody was like paranoid and scared. So like, I just kept myself in the house, didn't really, you know, drink or whatever. And then like maybe three or four days later, I was back to normal. But like mid-March, I definitely had that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's exactly, how That's felt exactly like. what it is. It That's felt exactly like an aggressive ass like, cold. Very, I was like, because an aggressive ass head cold. I was saying, like, I got, like, my immune system is pretty good. I don't really get sick like that. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, so, you know, well, when like, I get sick, it, like, it, I, get, I get sick. Yeah, yeah <laughs> like, it, it hits. And yeah, I yeah. felt like, damn, like, for three or four days, I'm like, yo, this is, this is it. <laughs> Cause like the news is driving it in your head, and you now and it's like, yo, anybody, and you didn't know what it was. Anybody who had that shit in February or March, or, or like March, April, like they got it the worst because we didn't really know anything about it. Not a thing. All we heard was like gloom and doom. Like millions of people will die from mm-hmm. this. Like mother. Like I remember motherfucking like when they started like announcing. Like I remember like the day that it really hit, like really really popped off. Was the day the NBA shut down? Tom Hanks and his wife announced that they had it. Yeah, Rudy Gobert had it. All this other March shit. 12th. I'm thinking like, fuck. I'm like, are people gonna die? Like, all these famous, all these people that mm-hmm. I know, like, are they all gonna like die? So like, anybody like who had that shit in February and March probably had it the worst because 
on top of all the physical shit you got to think of, mentally, everything you're seeing on TV is like negative, 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 mm -hmm. gloom and doom, no virus, no, no vaccine, no cure. You will die. Like all this other right. shit. Now it's like, nigga Trump beat that. <laughs> don't get me started on that yeah. shit. Though. I don't think he had it. Honestly, that, that that was a political ploy to gain sympathy right weeks before an important election that one he needs to, you know, for him. I don't think cool. it was sympathy. I think hey, it was. Just, no, no, that was because I think it was like, yo, then he can motherfucker. My taxes just came out. I just kind of said, you know, white supremacists are a OK with me. Like, yeah. I just got roasted in this debate. Well, that's and what I I'm don't want to debate somebody again. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You need that. You need that look. Let's switch. Let's switch the topic right here, which he does all the fucking yeah, time. But, but he needed, said, he needed that look. He needed that sympathy look or he needed. Yeah. The, the narrative to change completely right. because the four <clears throat> the three things you just named were killing them. Yeah, yeah. And, and I said <clears throat> like the taxes, <laughs> the white supremacy, and the debate. Mm. Those three alone made him look like a fucking crazy fool. Yeah. Now I say all that to say, um, it is crazy that you know, not crazy, but like I feel like if you get it now, like I remember it was like they 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 they, they stopped. They stopped whatever they were covering when motherfuckers got it. like Kevin Durant got it. Like when yeah. Ke when KD got it, motherfucker like we did in it, then in it, breaking news. <laughs> now it's now it's just on the ticker. Now it's just like eh, COVID symptoms, be out for two weeks. Because at first it had it was everybody that had that shit. Yes. And now yeah. it's not as much, so now you could treat people without having to be like, you know what? Gotta pull the plug. Yeah, right, right. Now yeah, everybody, now, yeah. now there's a little bit more knowledge. And I, of course, like as the days and months go by, yeah. you know, we're starting to see like in other countries. And of course, I think there's going to be another big wave that happens Supposedly right now. Supposeded to be another second, second, second wave. Right, be right, right, right. But like, you know, like New York, New Jersey, <laughs> Connecticut, like they've, I feel like, I feel like the waves never really stopped in other states. But like here... We it got, it think, got the well, most I, under control. I think we we I think we've managed the 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 rate of the risk, right? And I think we've handled it correctly. Um, and I think because I think Jersey is back to normal. It's as normal it's, as it's gonna be. Yeah. I, there's no there's no like before like we're not we're getting not getting back, back to before, to before ever because you know even when even when I got in there they're taking temperatures. Yeah, they got hand sanitizer. They got all this type of shit. They got big signs with masks. They're handing masks right, out when right. you get in there, like. They're still taking like mad precautions. Don't get it twisted. I wasn't like they weren't like OD wilding. I was just like it was just sensory overload seeing that many because people in one place. Because you haven't been in that time. setting in so long, yeah. So you're just like what? I feel is like I just this? got out forgot. Of, I feel like I got out of prison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I got out of prison. You like forgot you know, but, what it felt like to be around people. Yeah. And because of the news and because of the conversations that we have every day. Anywhere you go where it's tight or it's a lot of people, you're just like, holy, wait, whoa, whoa. What, yeah. What, what is, yeah. So, yeah, sensory overload when you walk mm -hmm. into barcode and you see 2,000 people, no masks, everybody chilling. One side is on top of each other. Then you got your wings and your hookah. And it's yeah. just like, oh, I forgot what all this felt like. Yeah. So that's what the, that's what we're going through right now in, in regards to getting back or accumulated to, to just to life. Yeah. Like, I don't know what I'm going to feel like when I walk into a, a, a sports arena. It's going to be like, it. what? Depends on the arena. Yeah, I mean that I too, mean, but man. it's just like certain things, like movie theaters. I mean, Adam Silver said their their plan is like their plan is to have fans when they reopen the season. Yeah, Vince McMahon yeah. said like WrestleMania thirty seven, like they want they're, they're gonna they're gonna have a full. I think they would state. wait if they could have fans. Like if they know that they can in December, they would mm -hmm. try to start sooner, just because like whatever yeah. if they're gonna do it in a bubble. For but sure. if it's like three months to have fans, like they'll do it for sure. I think like by January or February, or whatever, like depending on like what. It's kind of like going on with, you know, the... The, the election probably affects it, too. Oh, a yeah, thousand percent. Yeah, yeah. A thousand percent. Like, like I feel like, you know, I, I, it's going to be weird being back in an arena or a stadium. But then even, like, I'll take a step further. Like, <sighs> when do we do, like, how do we open concerts back up? What does that look like? <laughs> yeah, I'm still... That, yeah, like, that, I still yeah, I've seen that. I still I've think that. the driving concerts are, it's like, fire. a pretty dope thing. Like, you can still do festivals. You can still do, like, your, your Coachellas and shit and... Your your rolling louds like I think so I many think people already loud. wear masks at festivals right like, like huh? so we already you already, already wear, wear like face oh yeah. Yeah, yeah especially Coachella because like all the sand and shit like yeah. when I went there like everybody had bandanas on because it's just but that was that that was the, you know that was like the cool thing to do no 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 because it's, it's, it's in a literal desert. So like, if well, I you don't, if, well, I have, buddy. Uh, oh, you have? Oh, yeah. okay. Mm. You're privy to the mm. stuff. Sorry, <laughs> buddy. Anywho, have you hosted Made in America before? No. 
I got to dance next to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be a flame of flame. I was, I was like, yeah. I was running. <laughs> 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 oh, nah. um. <laughs> Nah, but I could see. I think. I think they're gonna try and do Rolling Loud. Um, shout out to to my guys over there that, that always hold me down for for Rolling Loud. But I think they're gonna try and like have actual fans there in Florida, and you know that's their home city, and so you know home state. I mean, so they're gonna try and do that. But yeah, man, like it's like I saw something overseas where they had like each group had like their own little platform that i saw i was like they got that that i'll do that right now that looks fine i'm like well, what yeah, am i way look, better so everybody's vip like yeah, like you, like, you have to like you have a waiter i think the or whoever comes it's like a little it. spaced out platform but yeah, it's like, like a little block yeah it's like you get you have your seat then you have i think it might be B, byob yeah um you, you know bring your food that's and just, chill that's better than a regular concert experience i don't want to be around y'all bro like, it's like i can I, so I can sit here and have my own vip platform yeah. and drink and just chill and watch my favorite artists yeah hell yeah i'm doing yeah. that i'm doing that right now uh, hell yeah oh yeah that's they true. could do that they could do that in metlife mm. take out all the seats like summer jam right yeah, Ebro, if you're listening, um, <laughs> take out all the seats, sell like those little platforms because right. like that floor can seat a lot of people. Right, right, right. Put that joint right there. Byob, um, test you know, take the temperatures and sell that shit for about two fifty, and then whatever concert or whatever artist, boom, that's it. I'm with the shits. I'll do that right now. I mean, shits, granted, bro. I'm old too, but I will definitely do that. <sighs> Well, like, Man. yeah, herd immunity is when 60% of, or, like, something like 60, 62% of people have had it or are immune to it. Mm. So, like, when they're out and about, it's, like, this kind of, like, diminishing, like, a uh, rate of infection. So, like, right. Amsterdam did that, and they didn't, like, flatten the curve as much. They were just, like, carried on as usual, more masks. Mm. And the curve was, like, more like this, but now they're kind of, like, stabled out. Yeah, yeah. So, maybe that's happening in New York. Maybe, early. maybe. I feel like, you know, New York and New Jersey, like... You know, a lot of states, like, again, fucking Georgia, Florida, Texas, like, y'all motherfuckers, like, never, just never close. They n- but, yep. yeah, like, we like, just started just having got people yeah, like, eating indoors they, again, and, like, back bro, then. they did not stop life. Yeah. Life they, stopped here. Life, life literally stopped, stopped here. here. Yeah, yeah, like, you once. couldn't go anywhere. You couldn't go, barely can go to the deli. Didn't get on any trains. Every day, Cuomo's, every, Cuomo's getting on Twitter and on TV, yeah. just fucking... Tearing everybody in a, a new asshole like, hey, you idiots! <laughs> <laughs> you want to be smart? You want to get this in the control? You put on a mask, and not over here. No, you got to cover the nose. Like just shaming the fuck out of the entire. I mean, that's a, that's a New York. That's a New Yorker's finest I'm just trait. Like, Cuomo, this is your finest moment, my guy. That I is, may not rock with you for a lot of other shit, but that is that you is gotta give him his due. Fuck what your your po- political views are. Yeah. He was telling Trump, like, no, you fucking idiot. Like, listen to these scientists. This will work. And it worked. And it worked. The motherfucking the curve flattened for a long mm-hmm. time. I think we just, for the first time since, like, since, like, April or March, I think, we, it's the first time there's, like, over 2%, like, infection or whatever. But yeah. it's been, like, it was less Number, than yeah. 1% for damn near the whole summer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so it's, you know, shout out to Cuomo for shaming Yo, us. COVID, into- <laughs> COVID was pretty much... One long ass snow day. <laughs> that's what COVID was. That's that's my correlation of COVID. It was a long ass, still going, yeah. snow day. Yeah. Like everything, like we just said, everything stopped. Yeah. Everything halted. Everything was just no, nothing. Yeah. We're not doing yeah, anything. Yeah. It's a long ass snow day. And snow we, year. One, snow, snow year. Snow year. One day we woke up and it says USA closed. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what <laughs> happened to me from last week. USA week. <laughs> closed. <laughs> And we we're you know, looking we're looking at the world uh, bro, snow day, <laughs> and we're looking like yo what? Okay, you guys did, did uh, your generation miss the snow day calculator? There was like a website. Yeah, they like bro, they didn't the they didn't get it. They yeah. didn't they didn't understand yeah. it. But that's what this was. This was uh, a long ass snow day, and we had to sit in the house more than we wanted to. Yeah, like sitting in the house during a snow day was the best. Yeah. You know, you had all the food and watching TV. Like you if know. somebody tell like if I'm a kid, right? Mm-hmm. Somebody just gives me the bare facts of what life is going to be like in 2020. If I'm a salesman, this is how this is how you do it. It's like, hey, kids, come here. Listen, everybody gather around. All right, listen. listen. You know school? Yeah. 
you don't got to go no more. <laughs> right? You know, uh, you like you like you like being on your phone when you're learning. You right. like laptops and work. Right. We're just gonna teach you through laptop. You don't gotta be. There. You right. can stay home. Right? All right. You wouldn't bite. <laughs> you'd be like, there's gotta be, there's got, there's gotta be, there's gotta be some horrible catch to this. It's like, you know, I'm not gonna tell you why. Wait, I'm not gonna tell you why. What's the meme with the white lady? She's like, <laughs> that's like, me. I'm like, mm, well, I don't gotta, I don't gotta go to no, school. No school, no school. Like computer, stay home. Well, mm, yeah, that's that's my reaction. I can literally like my 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 recess is literally Xbox or PS5 now. <laughs> but you think, all right, it, from, on the surface level, on the that surface sounds, level, it sounds beautiful. It's like there's gonna be a horrible cat. It's like don't look at here. Use car don't look over here. Don't, don't, like, look, don't over look over there. Don't look at the muffler. Don't look at the muffler. Don't look at this. That <laughs> sounds like a beautiful option. It's like, yeah. damn, I can stay home. I don't gotta mm. go to school. Mm. Little did but we I'm know. like, there's what is that catch? There's an awful catch behind <laughs> all this. <laughs> Two hundred thousand motherfuckers of you are gonna die, but. You get to stay home. Yeah. You get to stay home. I'm telling you, bro. It's it's a a billion one, of us here. One long snow day. It's also like that classic again. story of like where the kid ca gets caught smoking a cigarette and his dad or whoever makes, makes him, him smoke, smoke. the whole pack. <laughs> no. like kids are on their phone and shit. And, like, and now it's just like, like fuck. Week, it's like, this is oh, awful. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's cool until it ain't. Yeah, like it's no, great no, until it ain't. And no. obviously we're all at that point. I think that was the moral of today's story. It's just like, you know, we was cool. Like, oh, nigga, stay home. Like, we can do that. Like, I'm already washed. I'm like, yeah, stay with my girl, crib, nice little area, totally fine. Shit hit about October, November. I'm just like, said, fuck shit. it. <laughs> Dog, that should be the episode title. <laughs> fuck, fuck it. it. <laughs> Dog, that shit hit May and June, and I was like, oh my oh god. My god. god. <laughs> oh man. All right, so last week we were here. Last time we talked, um, something special happened in the world of sports. LeBron James, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Won his fourth NBA title. Um, You're a dick for sending me that fucking. Uh, that the close friends points, thing. yeah, being proof. You know what? I feel like I should put I, it out. Yeah, <laughs> it's the, it was the rings or the. Yeah, Let the, me the, see if it is still. He went to the finals ten oh, times. IG story. Cool. Not IG story. No, I got, I got. He lost six it times. Bet. Pull it up. Michael Jordan Pull went to the finals six times. Pull it up. Michael Jordan won the finals six times. Nobody's saying there's anything. Numbers wrong. don't lie. Numbers Moral absolutely. Victories if there's anything we learned about 2020, if there's anything we know about 2020, it is numbers 1,000 percent lie. No, people lie. People don't listen to numbers and facts. That's what we learned in 2020. Numbers lie, bro. Which ones? Streaming numbers. <laughs> no, they don't. They're Man, they, numbers. Man, they're numbers. manipulated. Manipulated. So you, you tell your girl that shit. <laughs> Go tell your girl that shit. Girl, I wasn't what? lying to you, girl. I just manipulated the facts. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> girl, I'm not lying. I just I was just doing a little manipulating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm exactly. not. <laughs> You go and tell I Sin. Not doing you this go and tell Sin like baby, I that lie. What? I ain't lying. That's just a little manipulating. Yeah, that's gonna get numbers me trouble. lie, bro. Everything lies. Stay what? No, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I don't have a dog. In this everything family. lies. You're Stay right, okay, low, right. bro. That's the quote. Yeah, everything, li everything lies. Everything lies. I have no fuck dog in this family. Every fucking thing. But Jake, pull up those stats, right? So I'll pull uh, uh, anybody who's lucky enough to be my close friends. It's only about maybe a hundred of y'all in there. Maybe mm -hmm. it's a very exclusive club. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I use that close friend just to either troll my friends. Or just, you know. Educate. <laughs> educate. And I got back, I don't want to lose. So sometimes I send some inappropriate shit that nobody else should see except for my good friends. <laughs> shout out to McCarty, shout out to McDonald's. Patreon shout premium. <laughs> shout out to Champ Sports. Um, with that, uh, I sent a graphic over to Lowe because last week, and people who watched the podcast last week, there, there was a very, uh, as always, surprise, surprise, a lively debate in our YouTube comment section about the Michael Jordan versus LeBron James never ending, probably never be able to be settled no, debate. No, never. And, um, and, um, and, and I said something that most 80s babies 
and beyond. How could you blame us? Gonna always be like that's blasphemous. How could you blame us? How can you say that the competition now is better than it was back then? It is not. But how could you say it's not? You know, they were they were bad boy Piston and they were just beating each other. It was a tougher game and blah blah blah. Whatever. Right? Mike never really beat right? the Pistons either. Listen. Right? You gonna sit here and tell me I'm not having this fucking debate again. You're gonna sit I'm here not and doing tell this. me a team that started Greg Ostertag at center you look this up, huh? would have anything <laughs> yeah, yeah. to do would know anything to do with fucking Anthony Davis, Bam Adebayo fucking Nikola Jokic motherfuckers that could do everything at 7 feet, you know what motherfuckers did when they were 7 feet back in the 90's <laughs> hack MJ MJ gets what? to the paint mm. yeah that's skillful yeah, that's that's wow. that's the, that's part of the game. I never, right? I never thought I. It takes no skill to be like. I never and thought. And on top of that, on top of that, motherfuckers always talk about oh, LeBron wouldn't 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 last a minute with these the guys that MJ had to go through. You mean to tell me, LeBron James, who's built like fucking Ahmed Johnson, <laughs> who's built like Lennox Lewis with a forty-inch vertical? Is scared of Bill Lambeer. Have you seen Bill Lambeer? No disrespect to Bill Lambeer. He's built like Homer Simpson. You kidding me? <laughs> he has yeah. no definition in any. He literally. He got elbows. He got elbows. <laughs> Whoop de doo. LeBron has elbows too. Oh my god. He would. He would. He would take Bill Lambeer and dunk him in the fucking hoop with the ball. <laughs> so with that being said. Okay. Anyway. So. With that being said, Jake. Please go through this graphic that I sent to Loki because it proves my point specifically. And again, I don't want people to think I'm anti-Jordan. I've never been anti-Jordan. I, I grew up with Michael Jordan. Mm. He's been my favorite basketball player as long as I live. He's the most inspirational athlete of our time. Anytime I need any sort of motivation, I'm sure there is a Michael Jordan quote moment or something that I can look to and be like, hmm, let's go after it. But everything evolves, low key. Everything in life evolves. You mean to tell me everything in this world, these fucking cameras that are here, these nice comfy sneakers, I'm wearing, I don't even like Kanye West, but these shits are hella comfortable, right? Everything in the world evolves, but the sport with the most athletic players on planet earth we have real life monsters walking amongst us amongst us and we're like no the way the game was played 25 years ago was better that's like saying oh yeah 4k tv it was better when the tv was built like a fucking lunchbox <laughs> with a big old ass on the back of it like oh yeah this is way better Get the fuck out of here there is oh you like face you like twitter you there like there you guys watching this on Instagram. You like Instagram, right? It was way better when the screen was green and it had like little <laughs> doot, 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 doots before every fucking thing. Yeah, that was better. There, Everything evolves, though. There, there's you're you're making very very valid points. No, I am, and I will never I, I will never take anything away from your argument because you're articulating it very very well and very thought out. Thank you. <laughs> but what I will say for the last fucking time <laughs> ten dollars in a jar <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah we're, right. well, Damn, we're, high, yeah, we're higher today <laughs> anyway what i will say we'll just is, guesstimate the swear for, jar for, for, for the kids <laughs> there is no lebron james without michael michael jeffrey jordan nobody's saying and that's not i'm true. not saying that you are saying that i'm mm. just saying let's remember the path that was dug out by Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Mm -hmm. Let's remember the things that this man did for the NBA and did for sneaker culture and did for the culture, period. Mm -hmm. Let's remember and take heed and show respect for Michael Jeffrey Jordan. And I understand that the competition is way different than it was back in the day. Mm -hmm. The rules are different. The game is different. I understand all of that. And I'm not mm -hmm. negating that LeBron is still an incredible athlete. Mm -hmm. and in 
crazy built you get, crazy built you don't get color tv without the black and white mm-hmm. tv thank you and then mm-hmm. i'm gonna leave it here if you go to the finals 10 times awesome and if you go to the finals and win four times awesome but if you go to the finals six times and never lose greatness i don't care who you're playing against i don't care what oh. year it is just understand numbers actually don't lie so let me ask you this low key i'm not <laughs> debating this anymore let me ask you this low key <laughs> what let me ask you this go ahead, go ahead. If don't make me react either, because <laughs> I feel like you're about to do that. But go ahead. You like albums? <laughs> <laughs> you like music, right? Who Why do we say, always have to do who this? Who is this? Who is? Why do we always? Let's have talk to do about this? these artists that you love, but never you think never have a classic album, right? Let's put it in terms. That your musically inclined brain mm-hmm. would easily understand. Mm-hmm. Before you if go I'm down the whole no, 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 no. Before you go down that road, understand music. See where I'm going, Jake. <laughs> I see where he's going. But just before we go down that road, mm-hmm. music is subjective. Sports are driven off of facts and numbers that can be proven. So just let, let's point. let's let's be under. Let's be very clear about that. Okay. Continue. I will. I will. I will adjust. My point for the sake of the argument. Okay. (laughs) You love rap music. (laughs) If there's any genre of music that is somewhat competitive, it is rap music. Very true. Because we don't give a fuck if Ariana Grande goes goes number one. Mm -hmm. We don't give a fuck if Garth Brooks goes number one. Mm -hmm. We don't give a fuck about a lot of genres. But when a rapper goes number one, or sells the most records. Mm-hmm. That's the closest thing we can get to an actual <sighs> tangible result. Mm-hmm. So, in your under your circumstances, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You like Jay Z? Love him. Jay Z's put out thirteen albums. Thirteen albums, right? right. Thirteen albums. Yeah, it's about yeah, 13, okay. 13 14. Okay. If you count Watch the Throne and the, okay. the Carters project. For the sake of the argument, how many classics do you think Jay Z has? Five. Five. Name them Reasonable Doubt, Blueprint, American Gangster, Volume uh, One, and 444. Four. Mm. Out of 13 Blue, albums, Blue the greatest rapper of all time. The undisputed goats. Don't do that because I see where you're going. The greatest can't do rapper that. of all time. Can't do that. Can't do that because I know. Five out of thirteen. Can't do that. Can't do that. Uh, five out of thirteen. All right. Can't do that. Can't do that. Right. No, okay. can't, do that. can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that because low. You, no. 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 Low. All right. You like Kendrick Lamar, don't you? <laughs> you like Kendrick Lamar, don't you? Don't you? Mm-hmm. Don't you? Mm-hmm. How many classic albums? How many times has Kendrick Lamar missed on an album? How many classics do you think he music has? is subject? <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I see. Because no, no, no. Here, here, no. Stop. stop. Here's what. I, before I answer that question, here's what I'm gonna say. You cannot. You cannot compare or define these albums as championships because why not? Because why not? There is no final test like there is for. Playoffs in the NFL, playoffs for the for baseball, playoffs for basketball. I there's think no there final, is. There's no final landing. No, listen. I think there is. Hold on. There's no final landing point, right? There's no final landing point. Mm-hmm. So if I'm going to the finals, I know what's at stake. Right. I know what I'm playing for. Right. And I think rappers know, especially the Kendricks no. and the Jay Zs of the world, you can't do no. that. No, when they're putting that. an album out, they're not competing against the game; they're competing against themselves. So that means, right? they, all right? So, all right? So then that means they win a championship every time. No, yeah, under your, only because to apart. you, he's only hit five out of thirteen times, right? Mm-hmm. Five out of thirteen, the goat, the greatest ever, do it. But five again, out of 13 but, times. Jordan, but, but, but Cass, played 13 again. years? 
Huh? Mike played 13 years. He only played 13 years? Michael? Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah. I know that. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. and the time that he got to the finals, mm-hmm. which is the ultimate measure mm-hmm. of NBA champion or mm-hmm. greatest or whatever, mm-hmm. he succeeded each time. All I'm saying where is, do you find where do you find the measurement the same the way on the, on the music side? The measurement I'm trying to prove to you is that you aren't going by volume, you aren't going by you know status or 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 or, or putting into putting. I'm going by environment. I'm going nah, by the actual environment that you're they're going in. by. You per- have to. You're going by win percentage. That's where you're going by. He went to the final six times. He won six times. So therefore, he's the greatest. Under that circle, Asi- I mean, aside from that, there are in, other reasons in, why I call in, him the greatest. In, listen, okay, okay. That's not but the sole argument. Speci- in this specific in, in argument, he went to the final six times. Won six times. He's the goat. Okay. If we're going by that record. We should start talking about the Kareems of the world, the Bill Russells of the world, all these type of people. Right. But we've got to a point where it's like rings determine everything, and Mike's rings mean significantly more than anybody else's rings for some strange reason, even though if you look at the, the, the graphic that Jake's about to read, the players and the teams that he went up against are not comparable to the teams and the players LeBron James went against at all. That being said, under your logic, Kendrick Lamar is the GOAT. And Jay is just the guy who just put out more albums. No. How not? No. How's it not? Because I keep telling you. Under your logic. Because I keep telling you. Under your logic, you can't miss I, if you're a GOAT. Because, because I you keep, can't miss. You got to be 100% all the time. Because I keep telling you there is no environment in rap to measure what we ultimately think is the greatest album or the greatest project. There's no, there's no environment for that. Okay. There is an environment for that for athletes. Okay. The World Series, the Super Bowl, okay. the NBA Finals. Okay. There is a volume to match. We can we can uh, we can look at those stats and mm-hmm. say they went, they lost, they won. Mm-hmm. That's not subjective. So what you're saying that's is that's not subjective at all. So I can't I can't say like well they they might have so won what, or they should have won. No, they so, lost. So what you're saying is there's other variables we should take into account when it comes to the championships that people win because there is a measurement at the end of the year, correct? Yeah, I know. I right get that. I, no, so I'm not, I'm not. that being said, your music argument doesn't does not it's not it doesn't match up with let's this. Let's take it back to basketball. All right, cool. <laughs> let's take it back. What's your music? That being on. said, Bron. And- Hello. That's how he gets out the argument because he knew I was about to dunk on his ass. He, 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 told, so he texted someone like, "Call me, like, call, call me right now." Somebody, please get me out of here, please. Yeah, we just uh, we're about to finish. Like, 20 minutes. hey, Sid, <laughs> you're holding up the taper right now, buddy. What's up? Everything okay? This is a good boyfriend right here. This All is... right, I'll be there, man. Jay, right? Oh, it gets a little weird when I don't. Whatever. Okay. Oh, well. Uh, okay. <laughs> Back to my last point. Right. You're saying that I really love these conversations with you. Good, because I, I love dunking on you every time we do. <laughs> like me trying, I was just oh, trying to pick them up because, like, Uh-oh. all right, go ahead. All right, great. Let's let's hear the logic because it, it's not Under comparable. That logic, you are saying it's that not there there is there is more that to be looked at than just the end of the road, just the championship, right? Yes. Because, again, you may not agree, but in rap circles, the classic album, more so than the number one album, more mm-hmm. so than the sales, mm-hmm. the classic album is the, is, the, is, is the dragon that every rapper chases. It's, yes. the, it's, the, it's, yeah. it's what they're going after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what's remembered. Like nobody mm-hmm. gives, I couldn't tell you I couldn't give a fuck what number Jay Z sold. I can't tell you if he ever sold a million a week. I couldn't tell you none of that. Right, but I could, right. Like you said, just you ran off those five classics without even thinking about it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But also because that's to me and that's subjective. There's five or there's four or there's three that mean others to to, to other people. But when you look at championships, I'm starting to think, I'm starting to think rings are subjective. So, so and that and that that with that being oh, said, with that rings being said, subject- rings Russell, are rings Bill are Russell Garrett- should be the goat. Bill Russell should be the GOAT. You know why he's not the GOAT? Because he played in a time where there's only, what, 12, 15 teams in the yeah, league? 12. So people look at those rings, they're like, 
having you, 11 uh, championships uh, is great, but it doesn't mean as much as what Jordan plan. did because it was 30 teams. He was going through everybody. He mm -hmm. was a guard in a big man dominated league, mm -hmm. and he put up stupid numbers that have probably, outside of Kobe and LeBron, mm -hmm. have never will probably never be touched. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That being said, as time goes on, because Bron's still at it, mm -hmm. as time goes on, we are going to look at those MJ rings how some people are going to look at those Bill Russell rings and be like, this is great. This is an incredible uh, accomplishment. Mm -hmm. But this dude went through countless all-NBA teams, countless franchise dynasties, countless all-defensive players. Te like, teams legitimately clicked up to be like, we got to beat him. We got to beat him. We already won 73 games. We need the MVP to join us because we can't beat him. And that's why he lost. Two of those reasons why he lost. Mavericks, you got that. He wasn't ready. Choked up. Got that. The San Antonio Spurs, the New England Patriots of basketball. Of course, you're going to lose to those guys. And he still got one out of, out of them. The clamor. Still. The, the, Just admit it. LeBron. Why can't you admit that you're Le watching the GOAT yeah. right now? Le Why do you got to wait till he's gone to Le give him his Bro, flowers? Yo, LeBron. What? Yeah, look at you. You're struggling. Yeah, he's no, struggling. I'm not struggling. Because I know you're about to burst out with another fucking argument. Shut up. <laughs> Through clenched teeth. Bro, LeBron and Drake mm -hmm. always have goalposts moved during these arguments. Mm. And the clamoring and digging and explanations that we get when we discuss Drake and LeBron, and it takes nothing away from what they've contributed to their respective culture. So mm -hmm, this is now, mm -hmm. I'm not going there with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But these arguments are not had when we're talking about Hope, when we're talking about Jordan. Niggas just know, all right, boom, greatness, greatness. We don't move stuff around. We don't say, well, you know, if he did this or if he, bro, this is why he's great. This is what it is. And boom, no discussion. Mm. When it comes to Drake and LeBron, mm. Niggas pull shit out of the air, move it over here, do this, and it's like, and I, and maybe that's the greatness that people are trying to provide for me or trying to explain to me, and it's like I do get it. I under, like I'm glad, I I'm glad you brought up Drake and LeBron. I understand that because that just shows how much it, they mean to this culture. I get that. So you mean you to stop, tell me? Can you stop doing that. Can you stop doing that. <laughs> you mean to tell that me? Makes me uncomfortable. Can you stop doing that? That if Jay Z, your goat, my goat, a lot of our goats, yeah. If Jay-Z, as great as a rapper he is, was just as good an R&B singer, just as good a pop it star. Jay-Z singing is crazy. Yeah, that's just, just, ima so just imagine, just imagine a world it, where the it, roles were reversed. It doesn't, look, I guess, I see. Just imagine see the a world road. where the roles are reversed. I see the role you're going down. And it, with LeBron, yeah. LeBron and the Drake, the LeBron and Drake conversation is very similar. No, it is, it is. Because it is. as great as MJ is, as great as he is, he played in a a a, a big man dominated era where it wasn't three point heavy. It wasn't way you know slower. what I mean. It was way slower. You know what I mean? The pace was slower. So of course and even then he still put up numbers that are still hard to be touched. Right? right? He's in a different era, just like Jay Z. Jay Z was in a different era. Where and, it was like, and 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 in that era, like you could compare, to me, makes it so much more fun because we knew how tough that era was. Right, that era, this era ain't tough. I'm not saying it is, or I'm not saying it isn't, mm -hmm. but it's not comparable. And I don't want to be the old man, get off my lawn type shit. But it's just like whole, I, and, that, <laughs> you know, and that's fine. If that's how, if that's what it is, then cool. I'm an old nigga. I'm 38 years old. I know what what rap sounds like to me. Yeah, I'm not saying what it sounds like to you, yeah. to you or to you. I know what it sounds like to me. So when you're going against niggas like fucking the Locks, DMX, mm -hmm. Nas, Wu Tang, um, Dre. Snoop, even though he wrote for them, mm -hmm. that 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 bubble right there alone for me lets me know how great you are as an artist. Mm. Until this day, 2020, October 17th, still kicking niggas ass. That's, that's understood. That's completely understood. But we'll, we got to take all that, yeah, and magnify that by at least ten. 
because the same way we're thinking like, well, Jay had to go through all these like lyrical Legend. geniuses, geniuses, right? He didn't have to deal with what Drake has to deal with now. And then also consider this. That's I mean, that's a good point. Also consider this. At that time, hip hop wasn't the number one genre in music. Right. It wasn't the number one genre in the world. It right. is. It's a mainstream household thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When Jay was dropping volume one, volume two, that wasn't that wasn't a household thing. Mm-hmm. That wasn't a mainstream thing. Like rap was still looked at as like, mm, well, y'all gonna be right. here. Y'all, y'all temporary. Right, right, right. So to make himself so great, so powerful, so influential back in that time says a lot more than what it says today because, yeah, Drake is a great artist all around the board. We know that. The access to hip-hop makes it more fun. The access to hip-hop makes it more understandable. It's mm-hmm. like going to the zoo. Like, you know, we can go there. We can look at it. We don't got to necessarily touch it. We don't got to necessarily be involved in it. Okay. You couldn't do that back in the day, like back in the 90s. Like, niggas didn't know what it was, and niggas was still multi-platinum, five times platinum, physical copies, right. not streams. Not, yeah. I mean, I'm not taking anything yeah. away from an artist in 2020. But can you compare a platinum with streams to a platinum selling records? I'm sure you can. I mean, you can, but yeah, it's you just can. Like, I mean, it's things like, are... Like things the are same, it's the same. Things are different. Hip-hop post. is pop now, and Drake had a big part in making yeah, no, that mainstream. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. You know what I mean? I'm not saying Jay right. didn't have his part. He absolutely did. But nobody's done it like Drake's done it. Nobody. You can't, like, you could say yeah, whatever you want strange. about, like, classic albums mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. The same way nobody's done it like LeBron James, mm-hmm. nobody's done it like Drake. Nobody. And no one's done it like Mike, and no one's done of it like Horace. No one would ever All I'm do saying it like is, we can't act like evolution doesn't exist just I'm because not, you know, my thing, we're I'm holding not, my, on. You know, my thing is never with evolution. Like, I, you have to, you have to evolve. You have to, you know, take from the old and, and, and recreate or whatever. You have to do that. I'm yeah. not saying that. I'm not yeah. saying that it can't exist. Well, I'm saying what it means to me, mm. where I lie with with my love and loyalty, is always going to be. A Jay Z. It's always going to be a Jordan. That's that. That's what I know. That's mm-hmm. my, that's my claw. That's what I look at as greatness. I'm never going to sit there and say Greg, a Drake or LeBron aren't great. They're we're, we're living. We're living in a time where they're just we're dominating. Still living in the, we're still living in right. that time, and we're going to tell our grandkids that like, yo, like we saw this. We saw this live in Lemon Color. We've never seen between both of those guys, Jordan, Jay Z, LeBron, Drake included. We've never seen a sustained level of high level output yeah. and excellence between those two guys. We just haven't. And all if we're, talk, and, if we're and, talking and, stone cold hard yeah, facts. Yeah, no, no, you're right. You're right. This dude's in the seventeenth year. You just and told like, me MJ played thirteen, retired and, for two of them. Yeah, and he took a break. Like and took a break. Two, like no one's knocking him because of what happened, but no. like at the same time on his body. Like that baseball isn't as hard on your body as no, basketball no, no. in an eight month season. I'm just saying. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna say this. We can table, you know, we can close it off. I'm when I when I have my children or when I have, you know, my conversations about what I saw when I was living and what I saw when I was growing up, I'm going to have an aggressively fun time <laughs> reliving Michael and, and Hove. I'm going to have a fun time reliving that because I knew what it meant to win in those cultures. I knew what it, it I knew what it looked like. Nowadays it just it, it looks different for me. Mm. Not to say it's not valid, not to say it's not you know they didn't accomplish anything, it just looks different. The winning looks different to me now than it did back in the day. And when you won back in the day, I felt like it was way more earned than it is now. Well, me he, for me, not saying okay, I'm right or wrong. He won six times, so like, how hard? Not saying how hard could it be, but like, wouldn't LeBron's four out of ten show they were more difficult by just like sheer percentage rate? Like it's that like is true. I mean, if you go six for true. six, like I think we celebrate. That is true. I think we celebrate the amount of times this man has went to the finals as opposed to how how many he actually won. But, and I, and like, that argument is always brought like, up. You know, there's a lot of times like, that Michael Jordan didn't go to the finals, right? LeBron has exceeded expectations yeah. with and the, Michael and the, Jordan. And the six times he went, he won. Yeah, I mean, so, no one's taking away from that, but like no one's taking away. Yeah, we got to look at the whole body of work. Right, cool, right. You know cool, who might be better than LeBron? Hmm. You know who might be better than LeBron? Who? LeBron Jr. I think that's a lot of pressure to put on the kid. Yeah, you can't do no, that. No, 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 but you I'm saying that. like... That's, a that's, lot. Un, that's he's unfair. Al- he's already... 
You know, he already feeling on, it. Taking on the namesake, like that's already a lot. No, you know I'm not I mean? saying like he has the pressure. Or he should be, or he's a disappointment if he's not. Mm. But I could see him running off like a 20 year career, and like being like. But just even like, that right there is passing. still like because I'm sure that's being echoed all around the world in, yeah, in he, his world. He, here's, here's the thing, Bron James Jr. got to watch. I got to watch him last year at the Peace Jam in Georgia. You know, what I mean, he's still very young. I still don't think he's really hit his growth spurt yet. You know what I mean? Like, but he's about like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A different player than LeBron was at the same age. You know, we'll see by the time he's a sophomore, junior. Like, we saw it with LaMelo Ball. Like, LaMelo, we watched LaMelo, you know, with his younger brothers running around. And um, he was 5'10", one summer, came back 6'7". You know what I mean? Like, you, know, you just never know. Now he's probably going to be the number one pick in the draft this year. It's, it's, it's soon. It's a lot to put on a kid. But, I mean... If there's anybody built for, like, that sort what, of lifestyle. Fr- freshman right of, now? What's up? Freshman right now? He's going to be a sophomore. He's going to be a sophomore. I think LeBron had, like, a six-inch growth spurt that year. Yeah. Or, like, going into high school. And already there's a lot of kids in his age group that are, like, getting but, that prodigy sort of, you know, yeah, that, like Mikey Williams. Mikey Williams. Uh, DJ Wagner, Dewan Wagner's kid mm. from Jersey. Um He's a little. He's a year, he's a year older, but Amani Bates. You know what I mean? Like these kids are. Oh, no, they can hoop. They're already being looked at. Like Amani Bates is one of those kids where they're like, yo, if they could draft him in the NBA right now, a team would take him. You know what I mean? He's that good, and he's just about to be a junior. But again, I it, I love I love high school hoops, and I love like being able to follow it. But like, it does feel a little dirty sometimes because it's like, man, these are kids. These are kids, bro. These are kids. Like putting that on them right now. Is, that's tough. We've already yeah. seen so many of these like young guys that OG we've been Mayo, watching since they were Sebastian like 14, Telfair. 15 years old. Yeah, that, that I've already burnt out, like Sebastian Telfair, Akil Carr. I mean Julian I mean, Newman. Akil Carr like, was five six. Yeah, but still, like you, you you give you give a guy a shit ton of attention like that and they don't make it to the league, it's gonna fuck with them. Right. Even Austin you know Rivers, what I mean? Like is Austin Rivers to a degree. Austin yeah. Rivers, I think Austin Rivers evened out. But he like, was the I number one had, player out of, like, going into Duke, he was the number one player in the country. Yeah, yeah. And I, I remember watching Austin Rivers in high school. I think he was about, like, two or three years younger than me. So I got to see him, like, while I was still in college playing my high school team when he was at Winter Park. And he had a shit ton of hype. People would call him the next Kobe and, like, all these, oh, a ton of hype. And he talked so much shit. Like, he oh. knew he knew he was going to come and just wreck the league. Like, he was that, he was, like, <laughs> mega mega fucking confident and i think he's kind of evened out i think like well, he had yeah, the height. he's a solid player like he's he's a he's a he's a good nba player but and that is that is a great thing to be in 2020 like, <laughs> he's a good nba player he's not whack a lot of people like to say also rivers whack also rivers is not whack like slightly above average he's slightly above average right which is great you could be slightly above. I will take. I will. I, t- I, will, I, I take just, that. I'd in the happily NBA, be a slightly above average player in the NBA for like eight, ten years man. and be happy. You're consistent. People know you can rely on you. I'm yeah. like, I'll take that. The role. NBA is made up of mostly above <laughs> average guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's those people who get their chances. There's those people who are like oh, he's a rookie. He's got to play. Yeah. And then like after those three or first four, three or four years, even now, you are who you are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's rare that like somebody's in the league for three, four years and then like all of a sudden they take a giant leap. I think like Victor Oladipo is one of those guys. Like that's and that's comparable to, to music. That's comparable to hip hop. Yeah. Like yeah. after those first three or four albums, it's like, all right, we know who you are. Yeah. Yeah. We know I guess we even know you. to an extent, like Jimmy Butler's kind of that guy. Like Jimmy well, Butler's yeah. been like we thought we we thought he was who he was for the past like you know, first three or four years in, in Chicago, Minnesota, mm-hmm. and Philly, and all that stuff. And now this past finals, he's, <laughs> his stock is through the roof. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like those three, those first three or four years, you know what I mean? Like Austin Rivers, slightly above average guy. Um, there's been a lot of these guys in high school that got like so much hype that, you know, they're going to come to the league and wreck shit and da 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 da. And like, it's just, it's, it's a lot. Like, it's, things happen, bro. Like, we life happens. Life happens. Like, we don't see what happens to a lot of these kids, like, behind the scenes. Like, who's in their ear? Like, what's going on with them? I think you bring up LeBron James Jr., possibly, you know what I mean? Like, being somebody who could be as good or better than his dad. I think he's in a great position to, you know, to do that. To do that. But I mean, like, we've seen it with. God, like how many? How you seen it with Jordan's kids? It was more to be, with all these guys. Yeah, you know it was I mean? more to be a point of like evolution of like 
mm. one generation teaches the next generation to be better than them. Yeah, of they course. They have everything that they build on yeah. in the past, and then they learn at their own stuff. Of course, but so again, like, you just never know, man. Like fucking like, Snoop Dogg's son, Calvin Broda's junior, was like a five-star football recruit in UCLA, and then he was just like, "I can't take the pressure. I'm good. Like I don't want to play football no more." Like that shit happens. A kid I played in high school with, this kid Derek Hector, and he used to say this shit all the time. He was baby Shaq. He was he was basically like he was basically like Chris Webber in, in high school. All this motherfucker would talk about in practice was how bad he wants to be a veterinarian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I that. swear to God. He always was like, Yeah, man, I want I, I love animals. I just wanna, you know. He had the like the world was like in his here. Here. Like already on covers of ESPN, already doing sports and already yeah. in high school. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like had the whole world on in, in his in his poems. He's like, man, I just want to, I just, I just love animals. I want to say, bro, that's, the, and, I don't and know, like, I don't know what he's so doing that, now, but I'm positive he's probably working the, with animals. And, and that's, that, that's, you know, the, I can somewhat relate to that because in high school, I was like a top five prospect and all I wanted to do was be on radio. And like, I didn't want <laughs> the world looking at me like I was the next, you know, Allen Iverson. And I just, well, stop lying. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Yeah, I was waiting to see how long you're gonna keep that going. I was like, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. all I wanted to do was play music, and I, I take, I take, couldn't. take some advice from the podcast and say less, buddy. Right. <laughs> I was literally about to like, think you play baseball? Like, Tom, I know you ain't talking about hoops. I know you ain't talking about football. <laughs> uh, slide a bit. Yeah, I was alright. I was alright. I was alright in basketball. You alright in basketball? Yeah, I played again. Yeah. I played with you before. You, you, you're not whack. Yeah, I'm not whack. I'm alright. Yeah, 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 but oh man, that was funny. Oh, I got whoever, us. whatever team I'm on, we win. I got us by. It's just us by what? Whatever team I'm on, we win. We, we alright. Hey. Easily, hey. Yo, it's been, a, I, 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 it's I, been I probably, a great episode. I haven't hooped nah, in like we, a good couple of months. I'm I'm still very positive I'd beat both of you. It, both you can put something on, on one, you yeah, sure? But two on two, two on two, I get in some some open layups. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna, have to, double, go, you're gonna have to double team me eventually. They're gonna be open. Just hit your layups, bro. <laughs> 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 They'll be open. We uh, still gotta invite niggas over here who want to play us, like. JB yeah, podcast, gotta, what's up? We still gotta see see what's up with Joe, Rory, and Maul. Yeah, look, we can get this hoop game get going. This hoop game, like, Drake listen. and Ovio, invite us to the bubble. <laughs> you know what I mean, Rory spot. Oh up man, I'm miss, I'm, that's the one thing I do miss about the pandemic, just what? getting open runs and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, can't say the last time I've been to an open. Run. You gotta like know somebody to know. It's like it's like a secret society. It's like the club now. Like y'all gotta know this guy with a gym. Like y'all got to. I bet. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's been a rough one, but shit, I do miss it. Man, what else we got? Let's get some quick, do we got quick hits? Yeah. Let's uh, get some quick did hits. Did you guys catch, uh, speaking of burden of proof, did you guys catch burden Woo! of Shout Woo! out Hit Boy, friend Wee! of the podcast, Hit Boy For producer of the year. Former bro. guest of the podcast. Oh my God, so I said friend of the bro, podcast, bro. Yeah, that bro, album. We got friends that oh. are guests. <laughs> <laughs> he is a friend. Hit Boy is a very dear friend. I've been to Hit Boy's yeah. house. He has the first uh, story he's ever uh, had, I wrote. Uh, with the Source Magazine, him and Chase and Cash, and they were the surf club. Shout out to them. They got a big fucking, they got the big, uh, fr got it framed in their studio. Oh, wow. So yeah. like anytime they see can that. We, can we get a Hip Boy beat for the intro? He actually gave me a Hip Boy beat for uh, when I was at Stash, like way back in the day. I have like three, three or four that I've never used, which is. Sure, maybe we need one. It's like a trading card. Like I don't want to just use, I mean, there's hey. legal yeah. things, but like, no, I definitely have like three or four. I don't. I'm about to go in my email and see like if these things ever turned into anything. But he's definitely bro. What like, if like what if the beats that are sitting in your email are like some of the shit that's on Sean's album? It's like watch the throne. Right. I'm like, <laughs> should have listened to this. <laughs> some shit like that. Like damn, maybe we should have used that. Um, yeah, nah, your nah. burner proof is, is fire. Um, it just man, shout out to the whole Griselda man. Shout out my boy West Side Gun. Yeah. Love him. Benny the Butcher, man. Benny just, I don't know. It's just, it's, 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 it's nice. It's, it's a masterpiece. Like, it's a masterpiece. But I, I was playing I, that shit in a hookah spot. That's bro, how much I like this shit. I was, I was listening to that shit and watching Mellow Highlights. I'm <laughs> 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 like, this shit hit different in the Chris Brickley bro, gym. Like, I'm telling you, man. Yo, oh, man. We gotta get, you just gotta get up to Hit Boy. Like, this, this guy. Just, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna try to get West Side on the show this week or next week. Whatever. Like, like, what's up, man? He's just oh, on man. a run. It's just like, you the whole crew is on a run. Yeah, that, yeah, the whole, the whole crew's on the best run. album of the year that wasn't produced by Hit Boy. Best album of the year that wasn't produced by Hit Boy? Shit. I don't know. 
Oh, I'm listening is to this, hit boy is, shit. Is this his top album of the year? Rap album of the year? Yeah. I mean, probably. I, I really like. Yeah. I really like the um, J J Electronica joint. Yeah, I, I really like that, that, and I like the. Um, I mean, I, Hit Boy and Dom did the As You Know It. I think that's what it's called. They mm. put out one. Um, half a mil. Yeah, half I a mil. I like Nas yeah. joint a lot. Yeah, yeah that's, cool. that's Hit Boy though. Oh, Sean, yeah. Sean joint yeah. cool. Um, who else? I like Ti's T. T. new album. It's really good. That came I, out. Yeah, I'm sitting with that now. Yeah. I like that. Um, Libra, Libra joint. The joint, uh, joint make amends mm. with him, Benny, and Kiss. Mm. Then they had joint with him and Ross. Bro, decent. decent. It's a good year in music. As, year like music. considering everything going on, consider all consider all the fuck good. shit that's yeah. happening in the world. Like it's made a lot of people kind of lock in. And I forgot who said this. I want to say it was Joey Badass or somebody who tweeted or something like that. Yeah. Was that the pandemic really like separated, you know, quality artists? You know what I'm saying? It's like you can't currency just currency said that. Currency, my fault. Currency, Shout out currency said definitely. that. Then that was a great great, great point. Yeah. It's like, yo, like you can't just rely on like, oh, this is gonna go up in the club. Oh, this is gonna go up in the strip club. Mm -hmm. Like, we're not really going there no more. So like you gotta make some shit that stick to the soul. Mm -hmm. Like you gotta make some shit that like people are really sitting at home and listening to yeah. because people make music for the situations that are that are going on in life and like knowing that a lot of people we're we're, people, we're seeing those artists that are making and, and again, like, you know, when you listen to music, it's all subjective, it's all like, you know, how you take it or whatever the case is. But in a in a, in a stance right now, you gotta make some shit that's gonna like you just said, like it sticks with you, that's gonna get you know, get you through shit. Um, it's gonna make you think, and these times are very pivotal. Mm -hmm. Just regard in regards to politics, in regards to protecting black women, in regards to you know everything else that's going on. So like that music has to reflect what's being shown to you in the world. And I hope, and not to always bring it back to this person, but I hope Drake does that with with Certified Lover Boy. I hope that his music reflects not one hundred percent, but I hope it reflects about what's going on and what we're looking at and what we're hearing. Um, you know, I still want the party records. I still want the club records. I still want the, you know, the girl records, but I just want, you know, we're talking about evolution. I want that. That's the one thing I want for him to just evolve a little bit more because I know he's great. He is one of the greats. I just want him to keep evolving into that, to that person. Man, I think. I think Drake already has his class. We've had this conversation. I'm not doing it. Nah, no, going back to Drake. Know, know. This, that, we'll, we, we'll be here for another fucking yeah. hour or two. How much? How, how, what time are you on at it? One thirty. at one thirty. Do you good? Damn. Damn. I always feel like uh, we, I feel like I always know exactly when. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we need it. <laughs> what else we got? on Quick hits. Uh, Do you guys catch uh, Black Thought's new album? I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't fuck. Yet, I didn't know that should drop. That drop Friday. Yeah. yeah. What's it called? Streams of Thought Three. He has Streams the first of Thought Three. Two. Second one was with uh, Salem. Uh, what I'm Rami. listening to tomorrow in the gym. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Black Thought has bars. And he's got bars for days. Break, oh, breaking Black news, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Black Thought I think is a better rapper than Drake. Oh, for of sure. Course. Black Thought's one of the greatest to ever. Do it. Oh, yeah. Like he's one of the great. Like he's he's Black Thought is like. I respect your top five if he's in it. Jeez. You know what I mean? Like if somebody, like, I mean, like if somebody, if somebody, not, if somebody puts Black Thought in their top five, I'm like, yeah. I fuck with your musical taste. Like I mean, he may yeah. not be in my personal top five, yeah. but I'm like, but I, I, know, get, I know okay, the type I get, of artist yeah. you fuck with. Gotcha, gotcha, and I can gotcha. see why he's there. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I get that. Yeah. What like I, I fuck with somebody. Well, no, nah, I'm not gonna say this person because no, no, I was saying like if someone said like if Ice Cube was in their top five, I'm like, okay, oh, yeah, but that's why I said I don't want to really want to talk about that. We'll touch that next week because I got I got some thoughts on that. We'll wait till it evolves more. We'll yeah, see where, where this yeah. is going. I feel like it's I feel like there's there's a lot of layers to peel back on that. Yeah. But do that next week. Yeah, what else we got? Uh, <laughs> the Jets yeah. just continuing to suck. Let Giants won yes, today. Sir. Good. Do, Giants uh, won. Good. We're we tied for a second. We have let one New York Jets, football victory. Let the Jets Le lose, baby. Levy on Bell. Levy on Bell. He's probably gonna tear it up for the Chiefs. Oh, one thousand! Shout out, shout out, my boy Le'Veon Bell, man. I know he 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 really he really wanted to make it work in New York. He really did. Bro, all yeah. I care about is the Bro. Giants finally good. Won. How do you yeah. feel? I'm good. You know why? I want the Jets to lose. Who did beat? Why? I want them to lose. The Redskins. Mm. The who? The Washington Football Team. <laughs> oh, what's the what's the what's the catchphrase? This what's the ca what's the catchphrase for? Uh, Bleep it. <laughs> for uh for for this tank job with the Jets now, right? What? Oh, was it like being being 
Don't be Catast- better for Trevor. Or no, 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 like, <laughs> no better for Trevor. <laughs> catastrophic failure just across the board. Yeah. No, I mean like, like you know how every year like remember the, the suck, suck for luck. Suck for luck. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking uh, <laughs> trying God. for Zion. Or yeah, trying not trying for Zion. <laughs> like, we need it right now. I guess like, it's it's. But they wouldn't take the right guy anyway. Like they passed on Deshaun Watson. They passed on Mahomes. I think so. I think the Jets are. At, I think Trevor Lawrence is a no doubt. Like, Slam dunk, whichever team is the worst takes him. He's that fucking good. Yeah, and the Jets will fuck it up. And the Jets will definitely <laughs> fuck it up. But I think, like, I don't think Adam Gase is, is, has earned himself the right to even coach Trevor Lawrence. So if they stay O for whatever, I think I think they have a strong possibility. Wait, they haven't won anything. They've won a game. I I I, I think they have. A, there's a strong possibility they can go O for. Um, we see where the Bengals are at. Like Joe Burrow has made the Bengals look watchable. You know what I'm saying? So like. Just We've seen Robert. that, you know, one player can make a, a, a little bit of a difference. You know what I'm saying? So, and a lot of, and, and Trevor Lawrence is better than Joe Burrow. Yeah, but the Jets just like trade everybody. Yeah, they, like, they got to. They got to get rid of Gase. They got to get some new, they got to get some new personnel in there. <laughs> Sell they the got to, they got to, you know, uh, granted, they're letting people go. I'm, I'm mad that they kind of let Le'Veon go without getting at least a fucking draft pick or yeah, something. It's like you signed it. Yeah. You like, signed it for that much money. Like, get something back. You're going to suck. Get yeah. some picks, like, like start he, building. He's like one of the only players as a Jets fan that I would, like enjoy watching, or, or like might have a chance of like breaking off a cool play. Like yeah, he was the Robbie. best. He was the best player. In, him and Jamal and, Adams, two and, best players on the team, and they're and both gone. Robbie Anderson's doing. Robbie really Anderson well, like, too, killing it for Carolina. Raise your hand if your team won today. So I don't know what these brokies are talking about. Uh, <laughs> congratulations on beating a team that doesn't even have a fucking name hey, I don't congr- know what these, right? these brokies are talking congr- about personnel change Love he's it. not gonna do it could have got some draft Wait, picks uh, win a five. game first here's what Lowe doesn't understand here's what Lowe doesn't understand the worst place that he's in the worst place to be as an NFL team right now why mediocrity they're not mediocre being media they're trash you either want to be super terrible they're not more trash than the Jets the Jets are the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. You either want to be really bad or really good. When you're in the middle and your quarterbacks, right, and you know, really Medi- got mediocrity. Saquon's got his shit fucked up. We all know we all mediocrity. It's it's funny you say that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jordan's not mediocre. Uh, no, please, Jordan's God, not, not another mediocre. forty minutes of this. Please, Jordan's Jesus. not mediocre. We don't do ah, mediocre. God damn it. Jay Z's right. not mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Alrighty. nigga! Oh man! Turn it up. What else we got, Jake? I heard Brady's yeah. kicking the yeah. kicking the Packers' ass They're right up. now. The uh, Bucks are up it's thirty-eight to ten right Mark. now. How the fuck does he keep doing this, yo? We gotta hear that shit when we go back to the house, bro. She already yeah. tagged me in the gram like, ah, look at Tom kick it. And mind you, the Packers have been right. killing this year. Yeah, and number one offense. Rogers was on fire, so. God, this motherfucker. The Bucks have a good defense. Back again, bro. What do you? What do you? What like, do you want? What do you want to do? Like the nigga is still competing at a high level, and he's not going to stop. It's like, what do you want this man? Tom to do? Brady has tormented me for so. Hey, he doesn't, bro, he doesn't hey, torment what? me this much. We, last week we had the Brady mixing up the downs on fourth down, so kind of a small victory. Came back with a. He veteran. came back was I'm like, just, all right. I'm, I'm just glad. I'm just glad he's not in our division anymore. I'm okay. It's like I. It doesn't hurt as much watching him cook now because it's like, all right, he's old, whatever. Oh, and it's like, it's and beast. it sucks for Patriots. Like I enjoy that Patriots fans are miserable seeing him succeed. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, silver lining. But, like it's like, but they got black quarterback, so it's they got Cam Newton. So. Yeah, no. Like the I'm, Patriots, I'm for the, I'm the for Patriots the are like the ex girlfriend that's watching a nigga with a new girl. Like, damn, why you didn't treat me like that? <laughs> why you didn't do this did. for me? <laughs> they did. He just he didn't appreciate me anymore. There it is. I'm gonna go where I'm appreciated in Tampa. <laughs> that was a weird voice to make. What yeah. else we got? <laughs> what else we got, bro? Got a uh, game seven of the Dodgers break. Game guys, seven. The Atlanta. Sports. I don't watch baseball, so y'all can keep me out of the this. The Atlanta sports slander continues. They're gonna blow a three-one lead. Oh, it's three-one. Yeah, one. It was down three-one. Now it's game seven. <laughs> they play tonight. Yeah. yeah. Tonight. Oh, we gotta watch yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, we definitely gotta watch this. Watch Shout that. out to Atlanta, man. Atlanta's had it rough as a sports city. Atlanta's had it rough as a sports city. Nigga, Atlanta Blue has had it rough as a city. As a city. <laughs> Period. Fuck the sports. <laughs> These niggas don't know what COVID means. Oh, <laughs> That's why God. y'all dumbasses is losing. Damn. Not Poor because Fal- not abiding by the guidelines, bro. Falcons is fucking up. Falcons. Now the Braves Falcons is fucking up. Today. I mean, they got Trey uh, Young. Hawks didn't even make it to the bubble. 
Trae Y'all deserve all this shit that's Trae happening to them. Enjoy Trae Young. Pause. <laughs> Great young player. Pause that. Enjoy that. <laughs> he said Trae Young's fun. Oh, okay. Fun. It's fun to watch. Now, I do like watching him play. He is, he's a hooper, he's, man. Yeah, he's, he's, a fun, he's a fun player to watch. What else we got, bro? Uh, we got a bunch of sports stuff that happened in the past week. But other than that, uh, you guys want to talk Let's about Let's get one more. Let's get one more, then. Let's get out of here. Sports. Uh, we got the Rams and uh 49ers tonight, and then we had Texans almost beat the Titans earlier. Do you guys watch that game? Oh, I seen Derrick Henry like just. Oh, he cooked. He had like a ninety-four yard children. touchdown. He might be. But oh yeah, I was asleep. Titan, Titans are. <laughs> I was hung over and I was asleep. <laughs> I'm still hung over. Bro, like, I saw this, my. This, this I mean, probably Greeno was saving my life right now. I'm a little <laughs> slowly but surely like, okay, I'm back, bro. Like, like I, had, I had a. <laughs> I had a jolt of energy when we first started. Now I'm like, oh shit! Now I'm way back. I'm right uh, back down. Fuck, right, starting it's starting to hit. To it's starting to, to hit. Go. Time to go. Guys, you want to say anything about NSARS? Or, about who? Uh, the Nigerian. Oh, so, absolutely. God damn. I'm glad you brought that up, Jake. I, was, yeah. I definitely wanted to end the show like this. Thank you for that. Um, obviously, uh, I don't know if people have been keeping up with what's going on in Nigeria right now. Um, but SARS has been a, uh, I guess it's a, it's a special task force of police in Nigeria that's supposed to, you know, it's, it's, it's extremely similar to what's going on here in America with police just abusing power, murdering, raping, just doing all types of heinous, awful shit. And, um, as Americans, as a Nigerian American, obviously you gotta, you know, make sure, not even make sure, but. It's 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 hard to kind of see that as I'm seeing like the videos come through my timeline and the hashtags and all that shit, like it's extremely similar to what's going on here, you know? And like we've we've beat it to death. You know what I'm saying? We beat it to death here in America and to say black lives matter, if they don't matter here they're not gonna matter anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So like a lot of the folks that have been screaming Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, you know what I mean? The same energy gotta be kept for the motherland, gotta be kept for for home. And um, you know, I've 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 started to educate myself a little bit. I mean, obviously I've been in I've been in the fucking bubble of my own, just as far as like work and stuff, but you know, obviously like things aren't as 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 promoted or broadcasted as much but you know i talked to talked to a lot of my good friends talked to wale a lot talked to a lot of you know nigerian americans that are within the entertainment and sports industry about you know using our voices to you know bring more awareness to this because you know if this is happening in america you, you see what it was like here it was on every news channel right. every everything you know what i'm saying and even me being like nigerian born you know what i'm saying like i I didn't even see as much as I, as I could, but now it's starting to get more pickups. So please, if you if you got some time to, um, you know, there was shout out to everybody who was at Bryant Park today for the march um, to to for for end SARS and just to bring more awareness to what's going on. Just because you know to disband, we're, we're talking about you know the fund the police here in New York and 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 in in America. You know, we need something similar in Nigeria because. It's just abuse of power and, and just har harming innocent folks and, you know, not necessarily, you know, denying people of, of human lives and human rights. And it's harder to see it like it's way harder to see it like in Nigeria because it's like, damn, like this is your own people. You know what I mean? Like this is like it, it hits different in America. Like it, it, as, as fucked up as it sounds like in America, we're kind of coming well, you have expecting like, that yeah you have like a history you have a like built in from like already yeah getting like you have a built-in distrust of law enforcement because of everything that we've all seen and you know and 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 kind of grew up with that's kind of ingrained in us but you know to see it happening to your own people towards their own people it's really heartbreaking and gut-wrenching and i just want to bring some more awareness to that so please use uh check out uh if you're on instagram twitter hashtag and sars Look at what's going on. Educate yourself. I mean, I'm not going to pretend like I'm the most educated on what's going right, on, but right. like the most thing, the best you can do is 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 get out there, use your voice. We have a great platform that we built together, everybody here, and I hope everybody gets a chance to kind of like check it out and see what it is. And if you can, just just let your voice be heard, man. Like that's that's the only way that a lot of these things change, and it's the first step. Obviously, a hashtag and a tweet isn't going to end, you know, a a a a a. a, a 
a uh, it's not going to end a, a corrupt uh, police force. But awareness is the first step, and sometimes you got to take one step in front of the other. Just like we started this, the episode today about uh, the "Still I Vote" campaign and making sure you vote early. Like these are all steps in the process. These are all steps into building a better society and and wanting more for you know your fellow man and woman. So. Um, just get yourself educated, man. Um, you know, Nigeria is a, one of the most, you know, Nigeria as a country, I'm so proud to be Nigerian, not only because of my heritage and, and every, you know, my family, but, you know, I, I love seeing how much culture we've given to America mm. as well. Like, I mean, goddamn. Nigerians are on like a hip boy run. Everything. Right you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> mm. I mean, Nigeria, when it comes to entertainment, when it comes to sports, when it comes to acting, like everything, like they, we are running this shit right now. Mm. So, I mean, you know, anybody who has a voice, a platform, anything you can do to kind of put your, I'm, I'm trying to use this platform that we have here to get people a little bit more educated, right. check out what's going on. And, you know, just do your part, man. Like, we're all humans at the end of the day. We're all part of one race. Nobody's better than anybody else. Right. And, um, you know, let's let's do what we can to, to put the end to this. Just like we just like we went hard in America and, and are still going hard. You know what I mean? Like, we got to go just as hard for, you know, our home, our homeland. So, um, Jake, I'm so glad you, you, you reminded me of that before the show ended. So. What's up, brother? Uh, thank you. Appreciate that, well, bro. Sir, bro. So as always, mm -hmm. make sure uh, you subscribe to the podcast on um, Amazon, Google, Apple. I'm yeah, saying yeah, Amazon. Yeah, now, yeah. Bro, bro. <laughs> Doing it alphabetically now. Amazon up first now. Make ah. sure you subscribe to Say Less with Kaz and Low Key on Amazon, Google, Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud. YouTube. Make sure you check out the first one podcast hosted by DJ Khaled, executive produced by awesome. myself right now. It's free. If you got an Amazon Prime, I'm sure everybody in the world, I know, ask your girl. If you don't have, if you don't think you have Amazon Prime, ask your girl. I'm sure she does. <laughs> More people have it. Amazon Prime than a home phone. Exactly, exactly. So download it. It's free. First episode with Lil Wayne. We're talking about um, the, 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 the whole the, the topic of the podcast is called The First One. Right. right? Everybody right. know Cal with another one, yeah. another one, all that type of shit, right? Um, but our idea was to kind of like create these sort of mini documentaries like on some like inside the actor studio shit mm -hmm. for artists starting with the the song that kind of changed their life and right. then telling us their life story through that right so you know it's it's not no gossipy shit it's not so bullshit it's a real it's a it's real music lover shit like right. anybody who listened to it anybody who said it got some great feedback from it so the first episode is with Lil Wayne talks about Block Burner his first solo record on the Get It How You Live album with the Hot Boys and how that led into the Block Is Hot mm -hmm. and, you know everything took off from there and it's with DJ Khaled who is you know a one of a kind person right Lil Key anyway hey Khaled uh, <laughs> come on the show buddy to be honest I'm sure you'll have, have a conversation we, we've spoken about this at lunch so we're gonna make this happen <laughs> we're gonna make this happen um, this week uh um, we have the one and only Jay Balvin uh, on Thursday. So make sure you download it. Make sure you subscribe to it. Make sure you are uh, getting it as soon as it goes live. And um, yeah, low plug your shit. I mean, you know, listen, my, my show doesn't have, you know, famous stories and <laughs> iconic artists. And, You're famous uh, and iconic. What are you but about? Uh, my, my show, Hip Hop Army Throwback, features my friends who DJ. So we had a Friday mix um, last week with uh, DJ Damo. Mm -hmm. um, this week we had Austin Mills. And the week prior to that, we had Mech Dot. So I'm putting my friends on, just you know, playing old school hip hop and R&B records from the '80s, '90s, and 2000s. So that's my that's my vibe. That's my that's my show. We just on a classic vibe. My dad listens to the show. My sister listens to the show. Um, so check it out on Apple Music every day, eight to ten p.m. And you can listen to past episodes on demand if you have Apple Music whenever you want. So it's like about forty episodes on there. So it's a lot to choose from. It's a lot to have fun with. You know, I got a say I got a segment called the original where we play a sample and then we play the actual song that sampled it. So we got a lot of dope shit on there and a lot of dope shit we're doing, you know, bringing some old school artists on there to interview. So uh, please check it out. We're just getting started. Um, also, check out my cheat sheet playlist uh, for the versus battles on Apple Music as well. Uh, versus season two is approaching so new battles will be announced Ooh, very soon versus say, season two so, yeah so we will um it's a lot of shit between us two right it's a lot of shit it's a lot us. of shit we touch between yeah. us two so pause. we 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 there we yeah pause pause, pause. <laughs>
It's good to touch a lot of shit. Get your paws off. Um, but yeah, that's it, you know? Um, YouTube.com slash Kazim. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, oh, Patreon. Patreon.com. Yes. yes. Patreon is now live. Mm-hmm. We will be dropping second episodes uh, during the week for all Patreon subscribers. What happened, Eden? Eden, right. come, just, just come and say hi to the people. They never see you. Come on, buddy. Come on, oh, man. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on, Got a Bronx it. brand. Hey, yeah. Come on, kitty. Shout out the Bronx The people brand. have been clamoring to see you for a long time. This hey. is our guy. Oh, hi. Hey, yes. So yeah. all those clips you see. So, Adam, what's, what's, what's the Patreon of yeah, what we yeah, talking about? Patreon uh, we got Patreons on Friday, every morning. So make sure you check it out. It's exclusive. It's fun. It's worth it. You guys see these guys even more. Yeah. You see us even you, more. You don't know what you'll see. Every you know, every yes. funny clip you see of us, every clip we post on Instagram is because of this guy right here. He does the effects. Genius. He does all of it. Very, very genius. Very creative. We love this guy. And obviously, y'all know Jake. Jake is in the back. Of course. Us down. Of course. Give it up for Eddie. But hey, yeah, man, this, that's Eddie right there. That's right. that's hey, fuck that's, it. Fuck <laughs> it. that's who makes the magic. <laughs> but yes, and also subscribe to the Patreon, patreon.com slash say yeah. because that supports this show. It supports everything that goes into it. Obviously, all of this stuff costs. So uh, please <laughs> support like you support all of our endeavors in the past and this show will be only bigger and better as the time goes hey, on. Hey man, I like where we're going with this. I'm not, you know, this is this is fun. The yes, ride sir. the ride is fun. Yes sir. Let's keep it moving. Yes, sir. Man. We got merch coming. We got we got the apparel. cups already. Cups coming. Apparel, not merch. Apparel. Oh, we have apparel coming. Apparel. Yeah, that's yeah. A, a, brand genius. Brand 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 brand. Like, don't say merch, say apparel. Apparel. Oh, we don't want to be we don't want to be rock aware. We want to be playing. Talk to him. <laughs> Talk to him. Oh, Errol. I like Anyway, that. like we do it all this time, every yeah. time we hear, uh, stay free, especially in these times. Stay free, stay safe, and always say less. Wear your fucking mask, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unless you're about to go party. Unless you're about to barco. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>